Chapter 3341 Reinforcements Arrive Long Chen didn't dare to look at those creatures in the pool. No matter what, they were definitely more terrifying than the devil I water lily. They were just waiting for him to take the bait. However, having reached this point, Long Chen couldn't possibly give up. He slowly approached his target. The flying boat was moving as slowly as possible to avoid making any waves. On the edge of their seats, the flying boat slowly descended to the foundation stone without drawing the attention of the devil eye water lily. Wang Chen then took out a fist sized tower with nine levels. Clenching his teeth, he placed it on the foundation stone. When the tower and foundation stone were connected, divine light erupted, filling this hole. After that, this dark world became as bright as daytime. As a result, countless roars rang out and this valley boiled over. Huge dragons then filled the entrance, sealing this space. A rumbling rang out at this moment as devil, I water lilies popped out of the pool. Other than the original one, there were now four more. Their auras were more terrifying than the original devil, I water lily. Their leaves then spread, filling heaven and earth. Their explosive killing intent and divine sense swept through the valley. After activating the divine tower, Long Chen sent the flying boat into the pool of water and hid their aura. This was a typical case of it being the darkest beneath the light. Those devil eye water lilies swept their divine sense out repeatedly but were unable to find anything. At this moment, Bai Shishi and the others were holding their breaths. Those devil eye water lilies were probably the seniors of their race. Their divine sense caused the void to rumble, and the sound made them quiver. If they were noticed, not even ten thousand lives would be enough to escape the calamity. Huge dragons roared and circled the heavens, overlooking this entire space. But they were unable to find their target. They were dumbfounded. How had their target vanished? After a bit, Long Chen's heart leaped. We've been noticed. Long Chen hastily sent the boat flying out of the pool. Just as they flew out, the pool exploded. The rear of the flying boat was struck by water arrows, sending it tumbling through the air. Navaloon, calm boom. The flying boat was exposed and five sets of leaves wrapped around it. In that instant, the flying goat was completely caught. Space twisted. Long Chen and the others seemed to arrive in a completely different world. In this world, they were as weak as ants. Boom! The flying boat was torn apart, revealing Long Chen and the others. At this moment, threads targeted Long Chen like steel needles. Bai Shishi and the others instantly found themselves unable to move an inch. They felt all their power be stripped from their bodies. Do you still want your lily seeds? shouted Long Chen. With this shout, the countless threads stabbing toward Long Chen came to a stop right in front of his face. The threads stopped, but a whistling wind blew by to the point that Long Chen's skin was about to break apart. This energy was absolutely terrifying. The helpers that the devil I water lily had summoned were too terrifying. Hand over the seed pod. Otherwise, you'll beg for death and not receive it, said a sinister voice through spiritual fluctuations. These fluctuations were very familiar. They were from the original devil, I water lily. Clearly, it still had some hope. The undying race truly did have low intelligence. Even the fact that Bai Shishi had refined the metal lily seed wasn't sensed by it. If you want me to hand over the seed pod, all right. But you have to agree to one of my conditions, shouted Long Chen. You have no qualifications to demand conditions. Hand it over or die, roared the devil I water lily. It was quite tough to negotiate like this. It had the same temper as Liu Ryan. Long Chen then said, If I hand it over, will you let us leave? No. You must die, declared the devil I water lily furiously. H.M., are you an idiot? 
You'll kill if it's handed over, and you'll kill if it's not handed over. What's the point of such a threat? Are the undying race all so stupid? Just how are we supposed to discuss anything? Let's just discuss this. I will launch and smiled. Shut up. Treacherous human race. If you won't hand it over, then die. Boot. The devil I water Lily's temper was very explosive. It actually didn't give Long Chen a chance to speak. Bo's threads continued to stab toward them. Encountering this fool made Long Chen want to curse. He had been trying to stall for time, but there was no communicating with this fool. It was going to use its tentacles to control them. Unable to move his body, Long Chen was about to unleash the black soil of the primal chaos space again. However, whether or not it would be effective again, this time was up to luck. Boop. However, before Long Chen could make his move, the space that they were in exploded. They felt their bodies lighten, and the bindings around them vanished in an instant. After that, Long Chen saw a pair of eyes, a pair of eyes that covered the dome of the heavens. It was the three flower pupils. Long Bai Sayo cried out delightedly. Only then did Long Chen and the others realize that they were in the tower. It was burning with divine light. The divine tower has finally been ignited. Our lives are saved. Long Chen wiped off some sweat. Their reinforcements had arrived. A rumbling rang out. As that pair of eyes stared down from the heavens, the world shuddered. After that, the five devil eye water lilies glowed, their leaves growing explosively and their undying chirupting. Rays of divine light fell from them like swords. Boom! The pair of eyes in the sky then exploded and a figure appeared in front of Long Chen and the others. It was Bai Zio's mother. Just then, the five devil eye water lilies attacked at the same time. Millions of rays of divine light shot toward the tower. Boom! At this moment, a resplendent golden light exploded. An ancient rusty sword scabbard had appeared, and it shattered the combined attacks of all five devil eye water lilies. The scabbard was in the hand of a long haired man. It was by Ziol and by Shishi's father, by Jante. This should be the scabbard of the high firmament divine sword. As expected, they aren't divine lords. They are all immortal kings, thought Long Chen. Human race, you are courting death. The devil eye water lilies roared furiously, their bodies growing explosively. Terrifying spatial cracks then appeared around them. As endless, undying Kai poured out of the cracks, the five devil eye water lilies grew so large that they covered up the stars. Boom! With the five of them attacking at once, Five rays of divine light descended from the heavens. Every single one of those attacks contained the power to destroy heaven and earth. Let alone being struck, even the shock waves were so powerful that Long Chen felt like he would be instantly wiped out. This was the true power of the devil eye water lilies. The next moment, space shuddered and one figure after another appeared. Thirty six elders had come out of the void. They sat in the air, forming hand seals. The thirty-six of them then glowed, and all their auras poured in one direction, into the scabbard in Bai Jantang's hand. Chapter 3340 Two auspicious crane danced the scabbard, glowed, and countless ancient runes lit up on it. After that, an ancient desolate aura erupted, forming a light barrier. The five devil eye water lilies attacks could destroy stars, but they shattered on contact with that barrier, unable to shake it in the slightest. It seems that it really is the scabbard of the high firmament divine sword. Long Chen stared closely at it. This was a priceless treasure with a deep background and history. Back then, after Imputus clone had descended, the dean used the scabbard to drive him away. And Puda was so terrified of it at that time. Since Bai Jantang had brought it out as well, clearly, the High Firmament Academy was set on reclaiming the Seventh Branch Academy. Furthermore, 
the academy had also sent thirty-six mortal king elders as reinforcements they activated the scabbard with their combined forces summoning an indestructible defensive domain with this the high firmament academy finally revealed its terrifying foundation damnable human race you've invaded our territory are you declaring war on the undying race a furious roar rang out but it was unknown from which devil i water lily it came can the devil i water lilies represent the entire undying race you're overestimating yourselves no furthermore this place was originally the territory of the high firmament academy's seventh branch academy when did it become your territory sneered by Jante. we've occupied this place for tens of millions of years it is ours roared that devil i water lily the human race has lived here for a trillion years for you to forcibly occupy it for so long it's already nice of us to not charge you rent now you have the gall to refuse your eviction did we give you too much face starting today the high firmament academy is formally taking back its land you can scram by jean tang sneered at them mockingly with the scabbard in hand since you want to die we'll accompany you that devil i water lily roared furiously in its fury its leaves transformed into a giant hand as a result the giant spatial cracks behind them were torn even bigger endless black kai poured out from the other side of those cracks at the same time the black dragons flew crazily toward bai Jantang. those black dragons exploded upon contact with the barrier however after dying their black blood tainted the barrier turning into corrosive runes they want to use the power of dragon blood to ignite their undying kai and demolish the formation quite vicious long chen was startled the aura of the undying world possesses a strong destructive power moreover this place has an ancient corpse they have merged their power with the death kai of the corpse to fight us at some point bai shishi's mother had appeared beside them but she wasn't the slightest bit worried mom you're all mortal kings bai shishi looked at her mother in disbelief they had concealed themselves for so long you've done well your metal energy is even purer now and you've obtained a divine weapon even a spirit tear a mortal king isn't a match for you said bai shishi's mother with praise bai shishi had given her a pleasant surprise this time that sore in particular made even her heart shudder after leaving her side her daughter had grown so much just then more and more specks of corroding rust appeared on the barrier long chen couldn't help asking senior is there no defense against this dragon blood corrosion long chen saw that those spots of rust remained and even seemed to be spreading he couldn't help being worried the death kai within them was truly frightening the corpse poison of that ancient corpse lies underground and they have drawn it out it is something that even the scabbard of the high firmament divine sword cannot expel said bai shishi's mother then what can be done asked bai shishi it had to be known that they had risked their lives to reclaim these ruins if they were to lose them it would be an absolute waste don't worry our reinforcements are almost here bai shishi's mother smiled just as she said this rainbows appeared in the air one by one the rainbow cranes bai shishi cried out in delight the rainbows appeared to be between illusory and reality the rainbow cranes had actually come here as they appeared this gloomy world brightened and the aura of death and decay slowly dispersed an auspicious kai gradually spread as the rainbow cranes danced the rainbow cranes moved beautifully through the air just like the dance of the fairies a peaceful air then settled over the world this ominous land instantly became a blessed land due to their appearance the rainbow cranes were the favorites of heaven and earth they carried an auspicious halo wherever they went 
that drove away all the dark energy of heaven and earth. Hence, dark Kai was driven away, and warm sunlight fell from the heavens. This land of death was revived. The ground was originally barren, but all kinds of greenery sprouted out of that dead ground now. The sinister forest in the surroundings withered, and fresh greenery replaced it. Even the spatial cracks slowly closed. Bastards! Just wait, you have offended the great devil I water lily race. When we step into the immortal world next time, we will definitely make rivers of your blood flow. The devil I water lily roared, but its roar was rather powerless. That was because they were hiding within the spatial cracks. When the spatial cracks finally closed, they were gone. Big Brother Long Chen. Suddenly, one of those rainbow cranes transformed into a girl and fell into Long Chen's embrace. She was the girl that had given him the original true feather. Little you Yuerone, it's all thanks to you this time. Long Chen hugged her. Looking at her childish face, he couldn't help smiling and praising her. The rainbow crane race's power was truly unfathomable. If he hadn't personally witnessed it, he wouldn't believe it. They didn't have powerful combat power. Instead, they possessed a natural auspicious Kai that could revitalize even lands of death. Big brother Long Chen, did you miss little Yu Er? Little Yu Er looked up into Long Chen's eyes, her pure eyes filled with excitement. Of course I missed you. Big brother is doing his best to create a peaceful world. Once Big Brother settles the nine heavens and ten lands, Big Brother will accompany you to play every day, said Long Chen. The picture he painted made little Yu Er very happy. She was still a child and very pure, so she believed whatever other people told her. Big Brother Long Chen, little Yu Er is tired. I want to sleep. When I wake up, I'll come to find you. Little Yu Er's black and white eyes clearly contained a trace of weariness now. She yawned. Only now did Long Chen realize that expelling the dark aura from this place had used up the core energy of the rainbow cranes. He immediately comforted her, promising to accompany her once she woke up. Little Yu Er happily nodded and transformed back into a crane. She then flew around Long Chen a few times before leaving together with the other rainbow cranes. The devil eye water lilies had fled, and the rainbow cranes had also left. Now, Bai Jiantang put away the high firmament divine swords, spabbered, and came up to Long Chen. Looking him up and down, he nodded. Little fellow, not bad. You're not lacking either. Long Chen smiled slightly. Ah. These old immortal kings couldn't help laughing when they heard Long Chen's response. 1. Little Crane Chapter 3343 Who do you think you are talking to? Bai Jiantang praised Long Chen, and Long Chen also praised Bai Jiantang. But Long Chen's praise was rather inappropriate. Long Chen, you are the first to dare to talk like that to the deputy palace master, said one of the elders with a smile. Bai Ziol irritably said, This doesn't count for anything. Boss has even beaten Bai Jantang hastily interrupted him. Cough, now isn't the time to chat. Old you, hurry and activate the formation. We need to stabilize the spatial channel and fully connect the foundation stone with the headquarters. We have to prepare everything before Lord Brahma senses it. These people were all his subordinates, so he definitely didn't want Bai Ziol to announce that Long Chen had beaten his head before. He immediately gave out orders to get to work. Long Chen was startled. These people weren't from the academy. They were from the Battle God Palace. Furthermore, this was Long Chen's first time hearing that Bai Jiantang wasn't the palace master of the Battle God Palace, but the deputy palace master. Then there had to be an even more terrifying palace master above him. Bai Jiantang's aura was finally revealed today. The aura of an immortal king filled the air. With this immense pressure, combined with the merger of his Kai and the Tao, 
Long Chen estimated that he was an earth-tier immortal king, or perhaps even a heaven-tier immortal king. If he was just the deputy palace master, then wasn't the actual master possibly an existence on the level of a world king? The High Firmament Academy had hidden itself a bit too deeply, no. These thirty-six immortal kings immediately got to work. They took out some ancient stone pillars covered in runes and inserted them around the foundation stone. As a result, the barrier in the air strengthened. The black kai covering the sky had been expelled. Although their surroundings were still in ruins, with the help of the rainbow cranes, vitality had been restored to this land. It was like the coming of spring, full of hope for the future. Seeing everyone get to work. Long Chen also ran over. He grabbed the dragon corpses that had been crushed into masses of pulp. However, Long Chen didn't mind. He directly tossed those pieces of pulp into the primal chaos space's black soil. By Shi Shi, Bai Ziol, Qin Feng, Kai Yu, and Zhu Zixin came over to help as well. Of course, they weren't after the broken flesh. They simply took out the course first. Over ten thousand black dragons had thrown themselves at the barrier. Long Chen wasn't picky. He even tossed the blood water and muddy earth into the primal chaos space. The battlefield was quickly cleaned up. Long Chen had even stripped off a layer from the earth, leaving it fresh and clean. There wasn't the slightest speck of blood remaining. While Long Chen finished cleaning up, the immortal kings also finished setting up 36,000 stone pillars, placing them in various locations around the foundation stone. As they were inserted into the ground, the giant hole slowly rose out of the ground until it was a formation of protruding platforms. There seemed to be a marvelous connection between the platforms. This is the original landform of the Seventh Branch Academy. Now that it's been restored, the High Firmament Academy will finally soar once more. Bai Janting looked at this new scenery emotionally. Tens of millions of years of patience. The dream of countless seniors of the Academy has finally been realized. Long Chen, you have done something huge for the Academy. Bai Shishi's mother was also emotional. She looked at Long Chen with praise. This impossible mission had been accomplished by Long Chen. The High Firmament Academy was under the surveillance of Lord Brahma, so countless powers were keeping an eye on every single one of their moves. Anything that they did would draw the attention of their enemies. The Academy had given this mission to Long Chen as they had no other choice. If the Academy had revealed their intention ahead of time, they would have to deal with the interference of countless experts. But the deadlock that the Academy had been in for years was broken by Long Chen. This one move from Long Chen could definitely enter the annals of great contributions of the Academy. Bai Shishi and her mother had already talked, so the latter was now aware of everything that had happened. Long Chen possessed both daring and the wits to accomplish what he dared to do. He avoided other people's eyes, mixing what was false and true, pretending to go east while going west. It could be said that he had gone far and above everyone's expectations. However, in the end, this mission was only accomplished at great risk to all their lives. Any mishap in the middle would have caused them to be buried here. We mainly depended on your unmarried daughter's precious sword, said Long Chen teasingly. This was the truth. If Bai Shishi had not cut off the devil I water lily seed pod, they definitely would have lost their lives. Bai Shishi glared at him but didn't say anything. Bai Ziol grumbled, I also contributed. That's true. Ziol did outstanding this time. He is capable of standing on his own feet now, said Long Chen with a smile. He very much approved of Bai Ziol's growth. From the Xiol that didn't have any combat experience at all, in just a few months, he had progressed to the point of being able to face powerful enemies without any unsteadiness. That was already very impressive. After all, this was a child whose mental state was not as steady. 
there was no way Long Chen could judge him according to the standards of the Dragonblood warriors. Xiaol and Zixin have both made great improvements. It can be said that our success this time was mostly thanks to luck, but the rest was thanks to everyone's efforts. Long Chen couldn't possibly just praise Bai Xiaol. Although Zhu Zixin was rather foolish and had an inferiority complex, in truth, it was just because he had always been comparing himself to Kai Yu and Qin Feng. Of course, he couldn't compare to them, so Long Chen had to take his feelings into account as well. As expected, Zhu Zixin smiled when he heard this. Qin Feng patted him on the shoulder as encouragement. In truth, Zhu Zixin was already very outstanding. He simply was unaware of it while comparing himself to them. I've troubled you to keep Xiaol by your side. Bai Xiaol's mother looked at Long Chen gratefully. The more she examined the current Bai Xiaol, the more delighted she grew. Long Chen's arrival had completely cured Bai Xiaol's illness. Moreover, in just a few short months, Long Chen had raised Bai Xiaol into a true warrior. As his mother, she could finally be at ease and proud of him. It's definitely much better than being under certain people, said Bai Shishi indifferently. Long Chen almost laughed. This was clearly a jab at Bai Jante. Long Chen looked at him and saw that his expression was no longer very natural. Bai Shishi's mother and Bai Zayol's mother covered their smiles. Bai Jantang's expression was odd, but he had no choice but to admit that this was reality. Before Long Chen came, he had been powerless to treat Bai Xiaol's illness. But in just a few months, with Long Chen, his son had been completely transformed. Although that didn't prove that Long Chen was stronger than him, it had to be said that Long Chen had more skill in certain areas than him. Bai Zhantang, who was attacked by his own daughter, was helpless. He only looked at Long Chen and nodded. Little fellow, I admit that you are very outstanding. Ai Long Chen's expression suddenly stiffened. He then straightened his back, clasping his hands behind him and putting on a dissatisfied look. He coldly said, Who do you think you are talking to? Do you know what respect is? I am to be called Dean Long Chen, understood? Yun. Bai Zhanteng raged. That appearance caused even Bai Shishi to laugh. As for Bai Zhanteng's wives, they couldn't even stand up straight from how hard they were laughing. A peal of tinkling laughter rang out in the air, Navaloon Com. Chapter 3344 Guests Pay A Visit The Seventh Branch Academy had been reclaimed, and the Grand Formation was set up once more. When the Transportation Formation was activated, countless experts of the High Firmament Academy came. They immediately set to work on rebuilding the Seventh Branch Academy. Millions of craftsmen got to work. Long Chen found that with every building they completed, the formation strengthened a bit. Furthermore, all the buildings were built according to a set arrangement. It was just like the old Seventh Branch Academy. These craftsmen worked as fast as they could. The materials had long since been prepared, so they set things up like they were setting up toy blocks. One building after another was built. Once these buildings were completed, they glowed with divine light as if they were alive. They possessed a marvelous magicalness about them that Long Chen couldn't see through. In just a few short hours, 108 buildings were completed. Once they were done, divine light flowed throughout the entire Branch Academy. From the air, it appeared to be a strange formation diagram like a dragon's spine. With its completion, the surrounding land thrummed with vitality. The violent spiritual Kai of this domain grew gentle. The vile dragon domain was originally not suited to human cultivation, but had silently been transformed into a perfect place for it. At the same time, Long Chen felt an ancient and heavy aura exude from every inch of the Branch Academy. These newly built buildings couldn't possibly possess such an aura, so this aura must come from the main academy. Its karmic luck was shared with the Seventh Branch Academy. 
Once the 108 buildings were built, the Seventh Branch Academy was completely revitalized. When an auspicious Kai rose out of it, Bai Jiantang finally relaxed. Finally, success. Even if Lord Brahma comes now, there is no need to fear. Bai Shishi's mother and Bai Zayol's mother stood beside Bai Jiantang. They all looked as if they were relieved from a heavy weight. Although they appeared relaxed when they arrived, their nerves were actually tense. They had been ready to fight an immense battle. However, Long Chen's acting was so great that Lord Brahma had been tricked. Lord Brahma's subordinates had strengthened the defenses at the other branch academy's ruins. It was only this place that was left guarded by the undying race. But Long Chen managed to take back control over it. Now that everything was set up, the branch academy was solidly connected to the headquarters. The main academy's experts could move between the two freely, so they were no longer afraid of an attack. With the formation complete, they were finally confident in holding this land. After that, Bai Zayol urgently pulled his mother over to Vile Dragon Valley. As a result, the Vile Dragons inside all fell under his control, and he grabbed tens of thousands of dragon eggs. However, to properly manage millions of dragons was definitely a troublesome matter. Some of these vile dragons had matured, and some hadn't. The matured ones were equivalent to a mortal tier, a mortal king. This level of power was meaningless to Long Chen. To use the words of Bai Shishi's mother, Long Chen was the dean, and all the wealth of the Seventh Branch Academy was his to control. In the Seventh Branch Academy, whatever Long Chen said was what counted. He could do whatever he wanted. Furthermore, recruiting disciples, deciding tuition fees, and all the various cash flows would be up to him to decide. As long as it didn't cross the High Firmament Academy's rules, it could be said that Long Chen was the overlord of this place. When Long Chen scolded Bai Zhanteng, his wives laughed because here, Long Chen was dean. Even if Bai Zhanteng came from the Battle God Palace, he still technically had to listen to Long Chen here. However, Bai Zhanteng wasn't so obedient. He refused to call Long Chen Dean, but he also didn't call him little fellow anymore. Of course, Long Chen didn't have the energy to oversee the branch academy. He simply invited people from the main academy to oversee things. However, their salaries were up to him to pay. After all, no matter how high a person's status was, it was closely related to incentives. For Long Chen to suddenly gain control over such a large existence, he definitely didn't have the power to oversee it. At that very moment, he announced Bai Shishi to be his deputy dean. As a result, Bai Shishi merely blared at him. How could she have the time to oversee these things? Furthermore, her character also wasn't suited for such a position. On the other hand, Bai Zayol wasn't afraid of that position. He directly asked for the position of deputy dean. With Bai Shishi's rejection, Long Chen really did give this position to him. With this fellow becoming the deputy dean, would the heavens be flipped in the future? Feeling helpless, Long Chen could only invite some people from the head academy to help him oversee his branch. Long Chen specifically named the wise elders he knew such as Heaven Master Yun Yang and Heaven Master Dong Ming. He also called over the disciples from the Luo Gate and the Unfettered Alliance. They were the first generation disciples of the Seventh Branch Academy. As for Bai Shishi, despite not wanting to be deputy dean, she pulled over the disciples of her Heaven Female Alliance here, continuing to be its master. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Even he had to be afraid of the consequences when it came to her. How was he supposed to play around like this? In any case, he had never cared too much about his status as dean. He left the trifles to Heaven Master Yan Yang and the others so that he could be an absent leader. The Heaven Female Alliance, Liuogate, 
and unfettered disciples disciples were delighted to come to the seventh branch academy long chen was truly extravagant as the seventh branch academy's first generation disciples every single one of them was given a dragon egg those disciples felt like they were dreaming as for mu king yun yuo bing yuo ning zhang ling zhang ziu and the others they each obtained a mature vile dragon as a steed the dragons were under the control of bai Zile's mother after placing a slave seal they could be directly controlled sitting atop those giant dragons these disciples felt like they might pass out from this blessing however bai Zile's mother also said that while she would help them control these few dragons for free if they wanted her to subdue more of them or do other work she would have to charge a fee this was one of the rules of the academy money was money favors were favors they couldn't be mixed long chen was fine with that he ordered people to send the leftover dragons to the head academy in exchange for a huge amount of cultivation resources after all the seventh branch academy needed resources although the building fees came from the main academy everything else would be up to long chen to get furthermore bai jantang and the others would only stand guard over this place for a few days before returning to the main academy they had more important things to do long chen took advantage of this time to arrange everything if the seventh branch academy was in danger the main academy would immediately assist but if the buildings were destroyed as well as the cost of maintaining the formation everything would have to come out of long chen's pocket if long chen was unable to maintain that cost one day the headquarters had the right to strip him of his position as dean that wasn't something that long chen was worried about wasn't it just money he might not have anything else but he had plenty of money the reason he had such confidence was because he had gathered so many dragon corpses packing the black soil the huge amount of life energy caused the wood foundation divine trees to grow larger at the same time they began to bear fruit the wood foundation divine fruit started to mature just as long chan was busy dealing with all these affairs guests came to pay their respects to him chapter three thousand three hundred forty five status exposed greetings dean it was zhao king long jiang yu the iron blood mercenary group and the blood drinking alliance they immediately rushed over here when they received word they had been in seclusion but they were stunned when they heard the news long chen really had retrieved the seventh branch academy that was impossible they discussed it and chose to come over to congratulate him naturally one aspect of that was due to their own interests long chen got straight to the point my high firmament academy never bullies others if you want to continue living don't provoke the high firmament academy then we can all get along peacefully however you'll need to make sure that your subordinates don't get any wild thoughts if anyone dares to start thinking about targeting the academy's disciples don't blame me for being merciless of course of course the four of them hastily nodded originally they had thought that long chen would be intent on conquering the entire vile dragon domain they had come to probe his attitude so they felt a bit better after hearing this other than zhao kinglong the other three had been planning on leaving the vile dragon domain after advancing to the spirit tier after all this place wasn't suited to human cultivation there was no way around it anyone with actual skill left this place so they had been planning on setting up their own sects elsewhere however now that the rainbow cranes had unleashed their auspicious kai this domain was suitable for human cultivation furthermore the density of the spiritual kai here far surpassed other domains they were prepared to actually set roots here instead of leaving furthermore they had built up foundations here establishing a sect here would be easy for them their greatest worry was solely long chen 
Hence, they were naturally happily surprised that Long Chen wouldn't drive them out. Everyone else is so happy. Why aren't you happy? Long Chen turned to Zhao Qinglong and smiled slightly. How could that be? I'm very happy. Zhao Qinglong's expression twitched. Jiang Yu and the others looked from Zhao Qinglong to Long Chen, feeling startled. They seemed to sense something off. The Bloodkill Hall had you overseeing this place, but I still managed to take back the academy. You should be thinking of how to explain yourself to the higher-ups in a way that will allow you to keep your life. No, how can you be happy? said Long Chen, still smiling. Jiang Yu and the other two were startled. They looked at Zhao Qinglong in disbelief. They had known him for so long, but they had never sensed such a thing. It had to be known that Zhao Qinglong only ended up in such a terrible place because he had been hunted by the Bloodkill Hall. There was nowhere else for him to go. Did you come to take over Yan Yang Hao's position? You showed up after he mysteriously vanished, exclaimed the Iron Blood Mercenary Group's leader suddenly. Long Chen, we went through life and death together. It's inappropriate for you to make such a joke, said Zhao Qinglong, his expression unnatural. Despite doing his best to stay calm, his blood kai had clearly quickened. He was secretly gathering power. Navaloon, calm Long Chen, waved his hand. No need to be nervous. I won't kill you. Furthermore, if I wanted to kill you, no matter what you did, it would mean nothing. Hearing that, Zhao Qinglong's aura settled. After a long moment, he sighed. How did you know? I can't tell you that. It is because I knew that you were from the Bloodkill Hall that I managed to lull you into complacency. You thought that the Seventh Branch Academy wasn't the real target. That's the only way to trick a wily old fox like in Puda. Ah, I say that he's brainless, but he does know some tricks. But to call him smart is definitely wrong. To put it frankly, he is someone who likes to think himself smart. I couldn't possibly do anything to the devil, I water Lily, and yet I appeared to be set on taking back the Seventh Branch Academy. He would naturally believe this to be false. After scheming against the Academy for so long, he overthought it to the point that doing the opposite worked perfectly. Incuda is probably in his palace, smashing some chairs right now. To tell the truth, I'm a bit worried for you. I don't know how you can make Imputa spare your life, said Long Chen. Zhao Qinglong bitterly smiled. He suddenly seemed to age a great deal. What method could I possibly have? I only came to test my luck and see if I could dredge up some useful information. If so, then the higher-ups would at least take into account my years of work, even if I didn't actually make any contributions. They might then spare my family. Jiang Yu and the others were shocked. So Zhao Qinglong really was from the Bloodkill Hall. He was originally the master of a first-rate sect. Just what had happened to him? The three of you, I hope that our past grudges and enmities can be waved off on account of me not having long to live anyway. Many thanks for not killing me, Long Chen. I will leave right now. Hopefully... I can see my family one last time before the Bloodkill Hall's people arrive. Jiao Qinglong actually kowtowed toward Long Chen and bowed deeply toward the three of them before leaving. His figure then vanished beyond the horizon. They all knew that he was definitely dead. Perhaps his family would be following him as well. For Zhao Qinglong to be reduced to the state after being such a glorious figure in the vile dragon domain, it truly felt tragic. When you think about it, what enmity is really worth so much? It is meaningless in front of death. What is the point of making your way in the world? Jiang Yu sighed with mixed emotions. Of the three of them, she hated Zhao Qinglong the most. She wanted to tear him to pieces and eat his flesh. But now, even if Zhao Qinglong told her to kill him, she would be unable to do it. Human nature was sometimes truly contradictory. My high firmament academy will not bully the weak. If the three of you wish, 
to live, then just don't touch the bottom line of the academy. This world belongs to all ten thousand spirits. No one can occupy the whole thing. The vile dragon domain is going to draw countless experts, and it is the best opportunity to develop. However, if you cannot grasp it, then even if you set up a sect, it will only be second-rate in this domain. My branch academy will not be recruiting disciples from outside, so go ahead and absorb as many people as you want. But don't harm my academy's profits, said Long Chen. The academy isn't recruiting? The three of them were surprised. One of the reasons why they had come here was precisely to ask about this. They didn't want to start a conflict with the academy just over recruiting people. Thus, they had been prepared to discuss it with Long Chen. While Long Chen got to take the meat, could he give them some soup? But they hadn't expected the academy to not even care about this meat. We aren't recruiting from the outside to avoid any crooks from mixing in. My principle is that as long as people don't wrong me, I won't wrong them. Just take care of your subordinates. Don't blame me for not making things clear if your subordinates do something unacceptable, said Long Chen seriously. Don't worry, such a thing definitely won't occur, swore the three of them. For Long Chen, to not dominate the vile dragon domain alone was a huge fortune to them. How could they dare to resist him? The three of them left and immediately called back their subordinates sternly warning them not to provoke the Seventh Branch Academy's disciples. Three days later, a weary Zhen Wenlong arrived. He immediately gave Long Chen some good news. Other than the devil, I water lily. All the other medicinal ingredients that he wanted have been gathered. Chapter 3346 Timely Assistance Long Chen was delighted. Zhen Wenlong was truly dependable. Anything that was left to him didn't need to be worried about. However, seeing how weary he was, Long Chen felt bad. Clearly, Zheng Wenlong had tired himself out for his matter. Right now, Zheng Wenlong was putting all kinds of precious medicinal ingredients on the table. He then smiled with a pleased expression. It had to be known that he had run all over the place in order to gather these things. He had personally visited the warehouses of the large auction houses. After all, this was a personal matter, and he couldn't waste other people's efforts on his own matters. Most importantly, he didn't have that much privilege to order people yet. Thus, it truly had been very difficult for him to gather all these medicinal ingredients. Fortunately, he had accomplished this task. Long Chen put the medicinal ingredients away, and the spirit vegetation ingredients were directly planted in the primal chaos space. As for ingredients that came from devil beasts and such, there was no way around them. He could only gather them slowly in order to accumulate large enough quantities. Zheng Wenlong hadn't brought too many of those ingredients. But Long Chen also wasn't in a rush to refine the violet tower pills, since he hadn't reached the Divine Lord realm. Moreover, these ingredients were fourth-tier ones and very precious, so buying them in large amounts would be very difficult. Without Zheng Wenlong, there was no way Long Chen could gather enough without at least a few years. I have received some information about the Devil Eye Water Lilies. However, one of their complete seed pods is incredibly precious, and furthermore, it must have reached at least the Divine Lord realm. The price is truly shocking. With my limited authority, there is no way for me to get one yet, said Zheng Wenlong apologetically. The Huayun Trading Company's rules were fair. However much ability that you had was how much privilege you were granted. A complete seed pod from a devil I water lily. He wasn't qualified to even touch such a thing yet. If he wanted one, he would need to trade with the auction house himself and buying on credit would not be accepted. Thus, Zhang Wenlong felt a bit embarrassed. These treasures existed, but if Long Chen wanted them, he had to bring out money. The things 
that Long Chen had given Zheng Wenlong had essentially been traded for the medicinal ingredients that he had brought over this time, with almost nothing left over. It's been hard on you. Money is not a problem. I can handle it, said Long Chen. You've just taken the position of Dean. There are thousands of things to do to maintain such a huge academy, but I can't help you that much, said Zheng Wenlong helplessly. He knew that Long Chen was currently lacking money, but there was nothing he could do. He could only give Long Chen what he had prepared so far. As for the devil I water lily, he would slowly think of a way. Ahaha, ha, raising an academy can be done. Let me show you something. Long Chen handed a certain object to Zhen Wenlong. Wood Foundation Divine Fruit. Zhen Wenlong jumped. He received this fruit in disbelief. This fruit looked like an apple, except it appeared to be made of wood and was covered in wood veins. Holding it, he felt majestic life energy that refreshed his mind and body. The Wood Foundation Divine Fruit contained endless life energy. Legend had it that it could revive dead people, creating an entirely new body for them. Although the legends were exaggerated, it was truly a sacred medicine for healing people. It was also a divine object countless wood cultivators dreamed of obtaining. It was a heaven-defying treasure capable of changing a person's core wood energy. It really is a wood foundation divine fruit. If an ordinary person consumes it, they can directly awaken a primal bloodline. Although it's only a first-generation wood foundation divine fruit, its price is still astonishing. I will try and see if I can use it as collateral along with my own personal guarantee to get you a seed pod from a devil I water lily, said Zheng Wenlong. There is already no longer a need for a devil I water lily. I've already got it. But what do you mean by a first-generation wood foundation divine fruit? asked Long Chen. Zheng Wenlong stared at him in shock. Long Chen had already gotten a devil I water lily. He was truly heaven-defying. He even dared to take the things of the undying race. As for his question, Zheng Wenlong explained that the first time that a wood foundation divine tree bore fruit, it would contain the least amount of energy. Its fruit proved that it had grown up, but not necessarily that it had reached its limit. A wood foundation divine tree could continue to grow crazily beyond just the initial time of bearing fruit. Only once it had borne nine generations of fruit would it reach its limit. The ninth generation fruit was the strongest and also the most valuable. As for first generation fruit, the effect was far inferior to the ninth generation, but it was still extremely precious. However, when comparing priceless treasures, this first generation wood, foundation divine fruit could not compare to a divine lord realm devil i water lily let alone an immortal king realm devil i water lily now that long chen already had one he wouldn't need to buy one from another person for such a high price he was just waiting the black dragon corpses from this time had caused the wood foundation divine trees to grow larger their fruit had matured and just as zheng wenlong said they grew crazily. They were much thicker, and they grew many times faster than before. If Zheng Wenlong hadn't said this, Long Chen still wouldn't have known that this was what was going on. The devil I water lilies were also rapidly growing. With the lily already blooming, an immature seed pot had also grown. Compared to regular water lilies, the devil I water lily's seed pod was not fruit that was born after the lily flower bloomed, but something that grew along with the lily flower. Long Chen saw that the devil I water lilies had started to develop. Once it was fully mature, he could take out their seeds and plant them. In any case, there was still some distance from the divine lord realm. He had time to increase the number of ingredients that he had. Based on what he saw when the devil I water lilies sprouted leaves, their aura was equivalent to the mortal transcendence realm. When the lily bloomed and the seed pod was born, it was the divine flame realm. Based on their current state, they had reached the equivalent of the four-peak realm. 
the lily seeds could be planted. The Violet Tower Pills pill formula required the lily seed from a devil I water lily that grew to at least the Divine Lord realm. Otherwise, there was no way for the pill to condense. Long Chen was in no rush. They could slowly grow. However, he needed to get rid of the huge amount of wood foundation divine fruit on his hands now. Brother Wenlong, is it easy to sell the wood foundation divine fruit? asked Long Chen. Of course. This thing can be said to have limitless demand, said Jen Wenlong. What if I were to give you a hundred thousand of them at once? Could you quickly turn them into the resources that I need? asked Long Chen. What? Jeng Wenlong was so moved that he almost crushed the fruit in his hand. A hundred thousand wood foundation divine fruit. When a hundred thousand wood foundation divine fruit appeared in front of him, he almost went down on both knees. This was an incalculable wealth. Long Chen told him to quickly sell them for materials to construct a palace and formations. He wanted to turn the Seventh Branch Academy into a supreme sect. The head academy only provided him with the bare minimum for them to protect themselves. If he wanted an upgrade, he needed to burn money. This place would be Long Chen's dominion in the future, so he had to build some iron walls to make a haven he could return to. The day after Zhang Wenlong left, an ocean's worth of resources came. The craftsmen that had been about to return to the head academy after finishing their mission were then summoned by Long Chen. In front of their dumbfounded gazes, Long Chen directly announced, strengthen all the formations to the highest level, the level that can instantly kill a world king. Chapter 3347 Old Brilliance, Are You Mad? The resources required for such a thing are unimaginable. Even Bai Zhantang was shocked. The Academy's grand formation had seven levels. Right now, they had built them up to the third level. Activating the seventh level required all the buildings to be fully restored. That required an ocean's worth of resources. No worry. I don't have anything else, but I do have money. The seventh Academy is mine so it must be built into the strongest stronghold. The defensive and offensive power must be of the strongest level. Speaking of which, the spirit gathering formation and training formation must also be the strongest. No need to worry about money. Work as fast as you can and be happy about it. I will pay you ten times the wage that the main academy pays you, said Long Chen to the craftsmen. These craftsmen were delighted. They were already paid a decent sum by the academy, but for Long Chen to offer them ten times that, they immediately got to work. There truly was nothing for Long Chen to nitpick about Zhen Wenlong's efficiency. Those hundred thousand wood foundation divine fruit had been directly provided as collateral for Long Chen, enough to provide him with an incredible amount of resources. All the resources that weren't immediately required for bare minimum maintenance within the nearby domains were sent over to Long Chen. Storehouses were emptied for him. Materials for all kinds of buildings were piled up. When Bai Zhan Tang saw the mountains of materials, he was dumbfounded. This fellow Long Chen had way too much money. With millions of craftsmen working, they had finished the bare-bones structure of the Seventh Branch Academy. But with these resources, they further perfected it, restoring it to its former glory. When the main palace was completed, its glorious splendor changed the entire aura of this place. An ancient yet new aura filled the air. When it was finished, heaven and earth shook. Karmic luck flowed toward the Seventh Branch Academy. This branch was originally a treasured land of great feng shui. When the palace was completed, it was like it had awakened, drawing out a natural manifestation of heaven and earth. One palace after another was built and bricks covered the roads. After that, emerald grass grew out of the land like a mattress. Small bridges over creeks and rivers were constructed. Now, this place was filled with immortal kai. Long Chen had turned the Seventh Branch Academy into a wonderland. 
Furthermore, in order to improve the atmosphere, Long Chen even took out some fertile soil from the primal chaos space and sprinkled it in some places. This soil still possessed immense life energy, even after leaving the primal chaos space. After moving it outside, there would be no problem for its life energy to remain for hundreds of years. During this time, it would improve the fertility of the natural soil, allowing all vegetation to flourish. Even some large trees that might take years to sprout would instantly germinate and grow if planted here. Day by day, the Seventh Branch Academy grew. In just a short month, all the buildings of the Old Branch Academy had been rebuilt. During this one month, the amount of resources that Long Chen took out shook by Jiantang and the others deeply. Every day, the Huian Trading Company was sending over an ocean's worth of resources. And every day, they were used up. The millions of craftsmen were constantly busy, working without pause. Even after watching the work be done bit by bit, when the Seventh Branch Academy was fully restored, they felt like they were dreaming. Bai Jiantang was truly unable to imagine just what kind of relationship Long Chen had with the Huayan Trading Company. They just tossed over so many precious resources like they were trash. Just using money, Long Chen had created a glorious branch academy. The work of a hundred years was completed in just a month. All the buildings could be used now. If the formation was fully activated, this domain's power would be instantly sucked into one single attack, and that truly was an attack capable of killing a world king. With this, the Seventh Branch Academy was truly an impenetrable stronghold. However, the huge price had used up a hundred thousand wood foundation divine fruit. That was essentially all of them. Jen Wenlong had also emptied the storehouses of the Huayan Trading Company in all the nearby domains to satisfy Long Chen's requirements. The huge amount of business that Zheng Wenlong had conducted gave him greater privilege and authority compared to before. In the future, as long as Long Chen had some treasure, he could directly exchange them with the Huayan Trading Company. This was a true mutually profitable collaboration. However, for now, Long Chen could no longer bother Zheng Wenlong. The resources he had right now were gained using the Wood Foundation Divine Fruit as collateral. If something happened, and the price when they were sold and auctioned was not as high as expected, then the Huayan Trading Company would lose out. Thus, for now, Zheng Wenlong could only provide Long Chen with this much. Anyway, this was enough. Long Chen had the best spirit gathering formation, and his giant academy only had a thousand disciples. All kinds of resources were available. There was no need for people to line up to get their resources. Heaven Master Yun Yang, Heaven Master Dong Ming, and the others sighed in amazement. Whether it was the elders or disciples of the Seventh Branch Academy, they were all blessed. With only a few people, there were more resources available for every person. Even Bai Shishi's mother joked about leaving the Battle God Palace and joining the Seventh Branch Academy. Enraging Bai Zhantang, with the Seventh Branch Academy being built into such a glorious state, the main academy asked if Long Chen wanted them to send him some people to keep up appearances, but Long Chen declined. He said that other than some elders for day-to-day -day management, he didn't want anyone from the senior generation. He wanted a young academy. The main academy respected his choice, so they didn't push this or ask again. That made Long Chen feel much more at ease. Although the academy was inflexible with some things, they kept their word. So, he was satisfied. He didn't mind raising some more people, but if they just came to eat without doing anything, wouldn't that be irritating? If he had a bunch of new people come to criticize and give orders, he would be vexed to death. Thus, what was important was quality, not quantity. Fewer people meant that things were easier to manage. There would also be fewer conflicts, and he would have it easier as dean. 
since this place was already built into an invulnerable stronghold by Jantin brought his people away he had brought thirty-six immortal kings and long chen gave each of them a wood foundation divine fruit shocking and delighting them this thing was incredibly precious and even if they couldn't use it they could exchange it for other treasures as for bai shishi's mother and bai Zayol's mother long chen naturally wouldn't be stingy he gave each of them ten the only things that he could bring out for them were these things hence the two of them smiled widely and praised long chen for being thoughtful and magnanimous but when it came to bai Jantang, long chen didn't give him anything to use long chen's words bai Jantang was the deputy palace master so how could he give him such a small thing it would be an insult to his dignity so long chen didn't give him anything hearing this bai Jantang clenched his teeth in fury just how much did long chen want to humiliate him but with his status he definitely couldn't lower himself to ask long chen for one he could only act disdainfully and leave after a month of hard work long chen could finally relax as long as it was within the vile dragon domain even if impute personally came he wouldn't be afraid by shishi mu kingyan liu obeying and the others cultivated in the spirit gathering formation the cultivation conditions here were many times greater than at the main academy they didn't want to waste any time after finishing all this long chen also wanted to start cultivating however just then he suddenly thought of something very important his mind sank into the primal chaos space and he came to the foot of the heavenly Tao tree in the black soil when he saw its current state he was absolutely shocked chapter three thousand three hundred forty eight heaven defying heavenly Tao tree the heavenly Tao tree was different from before it had grown and the patterns on its leaves were different but even after growing its limit was still nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine fruits on the martial heaven continent it could also only bear that many fruits however among these fruits some were different there were exactly nine hundred and ninety nine of such fruit not one more and not one less they had some strange marks on them and their auras were different long chen stared in amazement at them the heavenly Tao tree has the magical ability of condensing heavenly Tao fruit after primals are slain I killed countless primals from various domains and worlds this time so the heavenly Tao tree has already reached its limit of nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine fruits now that the limit has been reached has it changed in quality long chen's voice quivered if this guess was correct then the heavenly Tao tree was truly a heaven defying treasure the heavenly Tao tree's nine hundred ninety nine special fruits were shining their aura was clearly different from the other nine thousand long chen looked closer at one of them tracing its lines they looked like magic clouds this aura is somewhat familiar to the yuhua palace's patriarch could it be that after eating it it will change a person's constitution in the future when they reach the immortal king realm will they directly reach the spirit tier long chen suddenly thought of something that made his heart skip long chen immediately retreated from the primal chaos space and called out luo bing from her seclusion after they spoke she returned to the heavenly swell domain's main academy to send a message to luo changwu long chen needed him to secretly come with a thousand of his primal disciples to the seventh branch academy this transportation formation was truly convenient there was no need to cross the devil sea furthermore with long chen being in such a rush he had luo changwu spend a huge amount of money to come directly from the luo family to the high firmament academy and then to here when luo changwu arrived at the seventh branch academy he was stunned by what he saw although he had heard that the branch had been restored to its previous glory he was still shaken when he personally witnessed it 
Long Chen directly had those 1,000 Liuo families' disciples register. They officially became disciples of the Seventh Branch Academy and would be able to grow like fish in water here. The Yuo Changwu had absolute confidence in Long Chen, so he wasn't worried about the Academy taking the Liuo family's disciples at all. When the Liuo family's disciples sensed the dense spiritual Kai here, they felt that it was a wonderland. The spiritual Kai here was several times denser than their cultivation grounds. Just breathing in this kai could increase their cultivation base. After giving them their disciple plates, Liuo Bing brought them to the cultivation grounds. As for Long Chen, he invited Liuo Changwu to his personal Dean Palace. Looking at the grand and luxurious palace, Liuo Changwu sighed, Father's vision truly is admirable. Before the Chu family and the Liuo family's conflict reached its peak, Liuo Zichuan had left, leaving the Liuo family to his sons. Then Long Chen led them to destroy the Chu family. However, only now did the two of them understand that Liuo Zichuan hadn't left the Liuo family to them, but to Long Chen. Long Chen had climbed up step by step. In just a few months, he became the dean of the Seventh Branch Academy. That was an illustrious status. Long Chen's support was something that Liuo Changwu was extremely grateful for, and he also admired his father for having such a sharp vision. Has there been any news from the family head? asked Long Chen. He was grateful to Liuo Zichuan, but also worried about him. Liuo Changwu shook his head, his mood sinking. He always felt like his father leaving was no good omen. Marshal Uncle, don't worry. With the family's head power and wisdom, he'll be fine. He won't sacrifice himself when he still has a use to the Luo family. He most likely left to buy us more time. What we need to do now is increase our power as much as possible. Once I reach the Divine Lord realm, I'll go find him, said Long Chen. You know where father went? Asked Luo Changwu in surprise. I have a guess, said Long Chen. Yuo Changwu had not climbed to the peak of the Honing Heavenly Staircase. As he hadn't seen the star map in the stone hut, he didn't know about that mark. Long Chen was almost sure that Liuo Zichuan had gone there. However, he didn't dare to head there yet. Even if he found Liuo Zichuan in his current state, he couldn't possibly help his grandfather. However, once Long Chen advanced to the Divine Lord realm and condensed the Seven Star Battle Armor, that would be different. He was planning on finding Liuo Zichuan after condensing the full Seven Star Battle Armor. Back in the day, it was due to his mother's actions that the Liuo family's hopes were extinguished. So, he had to carry that burden for his mother. Marshal Uncle, you just advanced to the Immortal King realm. Your aura isn't too steady, so I can't really tell what tier you are. You should be at the mortal tier, right? Asked Long Chen. Yuo Changwu nodded, feeling embarrassed. Me and your Uncle Wen are truly lacking. We are both only mortal tier immortal kings. Yuo Zichuan had risen from a mortal tier immortal king to a heaven tier immortal king in just a few short centuries. Although that couldn't be said to be a record time, it was definitely the shortest one in the past trillion years. Liuo Zichuan had only had children after reaching the heaven tier. Theoretically, with that kind of talent, his children should have a chance of directly reaching the earth tier upon becoming immortal kings, and they should at least be at the spirit tier. However, when the two of them advanced, they found that they were only the most ordinary mortal tier mortal kings. They even suspected that they had been adopted. Why hadn't they inherited Luo Zichuan's talent? Both of them were depressed after advancing, but didn't dare to display that sadness to others. Now that Long Chen had brought it up, Luo Changwu was very embarrassed. Marshal Uncle, don't be dispirited. If the heavens won't give you something, Take it yourself. The family head also advanced from the mortal tier right. I have an opportunity for you to advance your immortal king tier. 
but it comes at a certain risk. I don't know if you're willing to try it, asked Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't possibly be sure what would happen when someone consumed one of the new heavenly Tao fruit. If Liuo Changwu's cultivation base suddenly fell to the four peak realm, Long Chen didn't know if he would go crazy. So Long Chen directly gave him an explanation about what kind of risks he expected. Liuo Changwu realized that Long Chen was going to give him one of the heaven defying divine fruit that changed ordinary disciples into primals. Without hesitation, he directly answered, I'm not afraid. Let me test it. If it works, I'll be grateful to be the president. Even if it fails, it's not a problem. Even if it drops me back to the four peak realm, I have the experience. It won't be long before I return to the immortal king realm. It just so happens that I can also rebuild my foundation, making it even more solid. That won't be a bad thing, said Liuo Changwu. Hearing that, Long Chen took out the highest of the 999 special fruits. When Liuo Chengwu held this fruit, his expression changed. If I eat this fruit, I will die. Favorite. Chapter 3349 Creating an Earth Tier Immortal King What? Long Chen jumped in shock. He didn't quite dare to believe it. This heavenly Tao fruit would lead to death if consumed. I'm not sure why. My intuition is telling me that I will instantly die if I eat it. It's a fatal feeling, said Liuo Changwu certainly. Then don't eat it. Let me take a look. Long Chen took back the heavenly Tao fruit. Every expert had a sharp sense of danger. They would naturally feel an intense crisis if they were going to eat something that could kill them. In the immortal world, there was almost no such thing as poisoning someone's food to kill them. It was far too difficult to succeed. Long Chen trusted Liuo Changwu's perception. However, how could the heavenly Tao fruit be poisoned? It was impossible. Was it due to the aura of the other worlds? That didn't seem likely. Long Chen's mind once more sank into the primal chaos space. Looking at the fruit, he suddenly realized something. Only now did he find that amongst the 999 special fruits, there were some whose marks were not quite the same as the others. Long Chen had plucked one of those. Looking carefully, he found 99 of them were somewhat different. But it wasn't too easy to tell. It would be extremely easy to get them mixed up. However, when he carefully sensed their auras, there was definitely a slight difference. With that, he checked even more closely and found that nine of these ninety-nine were also different. The one in his hand was one of those nine nine thousand ordinary heavenly Tao fruit, nine hundred with the aura of spirit tier immortal kings, ninety with unclear aura, and nine of the fourth class. Their aura is vague, but I do sense the slightest similarity with Bai Jantang's aura, as well as Ziol and Shishi's mother's. Are they mortal tier, spirit tier, earth tier, and heaven tier fruits, respectively? But then, that would mean Bai Jiantang is a heaven tier, a mortal king. Long Chen was dumbfounded. If that really was the case, then when Long Chen became an immortal king, he could directly advance to the heaven tier without cultivating those tiers. Furthermore, it wasn't just himself. As long as he had enough heavenly Tao fruits, he could create heaven tier immortal kings. That was absolutely heaven defying. Long Chen almost fell from the shock. Such a heaven defying thing could topple the nine heavens and ten lands. Long Chen looked at the heavenly Tao tree in disbelief. Just how terrifying of an existence was this tree? There's a clear difference between the auras of the first class and second class fruits but there isn't much difference between the second class and the third class, and it's even harder to tell the difference between the third class and fourth class. Does that mean that they aren't fully matured? Long Chen sank into thought. He had killed countless heavenly geniuses from multiple worlds in the battle of the heavenly rainbow domain. 
Could it be that even after absorbing so much energy, it still wasn't enough? Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen staring into space for so long, Liuo Cheng eventually shouted at him. He didn't know that Long Chen's mind had entered a different world. I can try it if you want. Maybe it was a misperception. Long Chen woke up and then said, your intuition can't be wrong. Marshal uncle, try this fruit instead. Long Chen handed him a different heavenly Tao fruit, one for the spirit tear. As a result, Liuo Changwu sensed endless spiritual Kai within it, and he also sensed his spirit root quivering in excitement. This is a treasure that I need, exclaimed Liuo Changwu. Even his spirit root had reacted. This was definitely a treasure. Long Chen indicated for him to eat it. He also activated the formation, and endless spiritual Kai poured into this room for Yuo Changwu to use. Yuo Changwu's body didn't even twitch after consuming it, but his aura began to ripple. In the beginning, if it was a calm lake, first it began to ripple, and then it started to boil. Immortal Kai also appeared around him. After an hour, his aura had completely transformed. When he opened his eyes, they were glowing splendidly. He seemed to shine, as if he had completely changed. Long Chen. I, I, I really did upgrade my spirit root. I became a spirit tier immortal king. Although Liu Changwu knew that he had advanced, he still didn't dare to believe it. Congratulations, Marshal Uncle. Long Chen laughed. He was even more excited than Liuo Changwu. He almost started jumping. With such a heaven-defying heavenly Tao fruit, who did Long Chen have to fear? Once he gathered the Dragon Blood Legion, he would have a legion of heaven-tier immortal kings. Then who would care about Imputa? He could directly go find Lord Brahma. Liuo Changwu felt like he was dreaming. Just as he was still filled with disbelief, Long Chen took out another fruit. Marshal Uncle, why don't you try this one as well? Do you feel any danger from it? Liuo Changwu jumped. He received another fruit and didn't sense any danger. Furthermore, his spirit root once more became active. Although it wasn't as intense as before, it was clearly longing for this treasure. Since he didn't sense danger, Long Chen had Liuo Changwu consume it. This was a third-class heavenly Tao fruit, or perhaps he should call it an earth-tier heavenly Tao fruit. However, Long Chen was disappointed by the result. After the fruit was consumed, its energy was absorbed by Yuo Changwu's spirit root. There definitely was a certain change in the spirit root, and his aura did seem a bit different as well. But he didn't advance to become an earth-tier immortal king. Despite not advancing, Liuo Changwu was still delighted. This fruit had still made his spirit root progress in quality. It was equivalent to years of bitter cultivation. I understand. Most likely, this earth-tier heavenly Tao fruit isn't fully matured, so it doesn't have the full effect. Long Chen finally figured out why the auras of the third class and fourth class fruits weren't that different from the second class. He began to give Liuo Changwu more earth-tier heavenly Tao fruit. Liuo Changwu then consumed thirteen of them before his spirit root suddenly shook and a violent Kai wave exploded out of him. Caught off guard, Long Chen was blown back, almost coughing up blood. Long Chen, are you all right? Liuo Changwu ran over. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating that he was fine. He was shocked. There was truly a difference between the spirit tier and the earth tier. Just Luo Chengwu's aura alone was enough to injure him. If they were to truly fight, he probably wouldn't be able to receive a single attack. The difference between a spirit tier immortal king and an earth tier immortal king was no longer something that could be bridged with quantity. It was a truly qualitative change. Luo Chengwu was also stunned. Just before this, he had been depressed about being an ordinary mortal tier immortal king. But now, 
he suddenly became an earth-tier immortal king. He sensed endless energy thrumming within his body, combining the power of his spirit root and the veil at Kai round his body, he seemed to be the master of heaven and earth. This kind of feeling was almost enough to make him weep out of emotion. With this test, Long Chen came to several conclusions. One, the heavenly Tao fruit could not be consumed across levels or the consumer would die. Second, the heavenly Tao fruits that were fully mature were still useful, and their lack of maturity could be made up for with numbers to have the same effect. Long Chen then turned his attention to the heaven tier heavenly Tao fruit. But ultimately, he shook his head. The amount of energy inside them was far too low. Even if all nine were consumed, they couldn't possibly allow Yuo Chengwu to reach the heaven tier. So, it was better to keep them and have them slowly mature. Marshal Uncle, when you go back, have Uncle Wen come. You can also pick out 9,000 elites of, of the Luo family to come to my 7th branch academy. Long Chen's eyes began to shine. Since the Dragon Blood Legion had yet to come, he would first raise the Luo family's disciples. Chapter 3350 Ghost Down marked the next day, Luo Changwen came. With the help of the Heavenly Dao fruits, he also became an earth tier immortal king. As a result, the Luo family now had two earth tier immortal kings, and they could slowly advance to the ninth heaven stage of the immortal king realm. Although they weren't qualified to reach the full circle of the immortal king realm yet, they were already supreme existences within the heavenly swell domain. With two earth tier immortal kings standing guard over it, the Luo family's position was as steady as a mountain. Furthermore, Long Chen also took out 9,000 of the ordinary heavenly Tao fruit for them, letting them raise even more elite disciples. As the Luo family had the honing heavenly staircase, their disciples had stronger wills than ordinary disciples. Hence, the warriors that they raised could be said to be unafraid of death. When they awakened primal bloodlines, it also awakened their violet Kai. Hence, the Luo family's disciples could directly become elites amongst elites with the aid of the heavenly Tao fruits. Also, these heavenly Tao fruits would be useless in Long Chen's hands for now, so it was better to use them up quickly. After all, equipping the Luo family was like equipping himself. However, they couldn't make any huge moves. So, these 9,000 disciples stayed in the Luo family's secret training room. It was best to keep them there for now without exposing them. As for the matter of four peak pills, there was no need to worry. While rebuilding the seventh branch academy, Zheng Wenlong had gotten Long Chen a king item pill furnace, one that was newly forged and hadn't had a spirit awoken in it yet. Long Chen then had the moon and star refining furnaces item spirit enter it. With Huo Linger's help, it quickly merged with it. It then refined pills every day, growing stronger and stronger. A huge number of four peak pills were being refined. Most importantly, the Demon Moon Furnaces Item Spirit had finished merging with the Daynight Furnaces Item Spirit. So, the Daynight Furnace had been demonized, becoming the Demon Moon Furnace. Just half a month ago, the Demon Moon Furnace started refining pills. However, the pills that she refined were low-grade demonic pills. They were filled with impurities, and consuming them would be detrimental to the body. But after a few days of refining, the Demon Moon Furnace's item spirit grew stronger until she could control the Demon Moon Furnace, and the demonic pills increased in quality. Just yesterday, Ling Er communicated spiritually with Long Chen. She was finally awake after being in slumber for so long. However, she had merged with the original item spirit of the Daynight Furnace, so she felt both foreign and familiar to Long Chen. Long Chen knew that Ling Er's power would only continue to grow. She would occupy the main consciousness and would gradually become her old self. The strengthened demon Moon Furnace began to refine peakless pills for Long Chen. 
although the number was a bit low, with her only being able to refine a few furnaces of pills a day, all of them were demonic pills. Demonic pills were violent and explosive. Their medicinal energy was something that would directly make someone explode if they consumed one. Fortunately, Long Chen's physical body was tough enough to endure it. Furthermore, he found that the demon Moon Furnace's peakless pills were actually even more suitable for his cultivation. Thus, Long Chen left the peakless pills to be refined by the demon Moon Furnace, while the Moon and Star Refining Furnace got to refine four peak pills. Now, he had mountains of four peak pills, too many for him to even use up. The Moon and Star Refining Furnace was working day and night, strengthening itself daily. Although Long Chen didn't have time to teach it how to refine different medicinal pills, there was no need for such a thing. So, he just let it continue refining. As they cultivated, they brought Long Chen an endless supply of medicinal pills. If he couldn't use them up, he could give them to Zhang Wenlong to sell. So, it could be said that the two furnaces had become bottomless cornucopias for Long Chen. After this was arranged, Long Chen finally sighed with relief. He then went to the rear mountains of the academy. Jan Tang, have you noticed? After returning to the main academy, Bai Ziyol's mother, who had wanted to mention something several times but had stopped in the end, finally couldn't hold back any longer. I noticed. Bai Zhantan nodded. Why didn't you warn him? The ghost Dao has already set its sights on him, but he doesn't know it. If you don't warn him, something terrible will probably befall him in the near future, said Bai Zhao's mother. Bai Shishi's mother was startled. Only she hadn't noticed anything odd. She asked, Long Chen is in danger from the ghost Dao? Is it because of the ghost ship? Bai Shishi had not mentioned the ghost ship as she knew that it was a bizarre existence. Long Chen had also said that it would be best not to bring it up to avoid bringing karma to others. However, while Bai Shishi kept quiet, Bai Xiao was different. When Long Chen and Bai Shishi weren't present, he brought this up in front of his parents to prove just how big his guts were. At that time, they were terrified by what they were hearing. Long Chen's guts were truly too big to even dare to climb up a ghost ship. Seeing their shock, Bai Xiaol was even more pleased and brought up how Long Chen had stolen a golden sword from the ghost ship and given it to Bai Shishi. The three of them felt a burst of fear at hearing that. Ghost ships were said to be connected to the secrets of the Ten Planar Worlds. They could not be looked at nor be talked about. Otherwise, misfortune would befall those who were touched by their karma. Long Chen was crazy. After learning all of this, Bai Xiao's mother sternly warned her son not to mention this matter to anyone ever again. It was only now that Bai Shishi's mother learned that the ghost Dao had set its sights on Long Chen. Bai Xiao's mother possessed the three flower pupils. Having reached the seventh level, she was capable of seeing things that others couldn't see. However, she hadn't brought it up until it was just the three of them alone. It is most likely due to the ghost ship. After touching such a terrifying existence, the ghost Dao's mark has been placed on him, said Bai Zhantang somewhat gravely. Just like you back then? Asked Bai Shishi's mother. No, not like then. I was marked because of a deviation in my cultivation of the six Dao fist. Then when the ghost world invaded, I was seriously wounded and had the ghost Dao imprint placed on me. Even my father didn't sense it. It was only thanks to Senior Sweeper's warning that I managed to control it. It also helped me perfect my power of the six Daos. When I saw Long Chen this time, my mark sensed his. I wanted it to help him, thinking it could dispel Long Chen's ghost Dao mark. However, when it faced that mark, its spirit suddenly swelled violently. If I didn't cut off the connection in time, it would have died, said Bai Zhantang. It has the same strength as you, but just looking at Long Chen's mark almost caused it to dissipate. 
both of his wives jumped in shock. Back in the day, Bai Jiantang had also been marked by the ghost Dao. It was thanks to the sweeper's pointers that he managed to subdue a life form of the ghost Dao, and from then on it lived in his body with him, becoming his strongest helper. It was capable of being summoned and fighting on its own. Moreover, its power was not at all inferior to his own. Now, such a powerful existence almost died just from looking at Long Chen's mark. That was astonishing. Yes, it's still in slumber. I'll probably only know the details once it wakes up, said Bai Zhantang solemnly. The reason why Bai Shishi and Bai Ziol had an innate fear of creatures of the ghost Dao was actually related to Bai Zhantang. However, their parents had never told the two of them about this matter. Even if you can't resolve it, you should warn Long Chen, said Bai Ziol's mother. If a person doesn't have a heart devil, it is impossible to draw over an outer ghost. Long Chen is definitely aware of it somewhat, so we don't need to worry for him. Bai Zhantang shook his head. However, he suddenly irritably said, I'm an idiot. Before going to the Seventh Branch Academy, Senior Sweeper told me that I only had to do my duty and not bother with anything else. Thinking back, he must have been specifically referring to Long Chen's ghost Dao Mark. Ah, if I had remembered, I wouldn't have had it suffer like this. Ugh, I have the head of a pig. Bai Zhantang had the urge to hit himself. The sweeper of the academy was so far sighted, and none of his words were meaningless. But Bai Zhantang still suffered after being warned, almost causing his companion to die. He was truly foolish. Hearing that the sweeper had brought up this matter, the other two relaxed. As for Bai Zhantang's regret, the two of them found it vexing and funny. This fellow's head really was too bright sometimes. They could only comfort him as they returned to the main academy. Chapter 3351 Seventh Heaven Stage of Four Peak At this moment, rumbling rang out as Long Chen fought eight golden figures at once. His fists danced. There were eight spirit tier immortal king combatants projected by a formation. This formation was one of the training grounds of the Seventh Branch Academy. It was capable of summoning powerful projections for people to train with. As for these combatants, they were condensed by the formation and were based on real people. They were like copies, a bit similar to the heavenly Tao's copying ancient heavenly geniuses and projecting them during the tribulation. The High Firmament Academy's foundation was truly profound. In order to raise its disciples, there were some particularly fierce training grounds. This particular formation was able to replicate the battle wills and techniques of countless experts. Those experts were some of the strongest enemies slain throughout the High Firmament Academy's history. There were humans as well as other races, beasts, devils, and fiends. You could choose your opponent based on cultivation base, combat power, and other attributes. However, this training ground was something that was almost never activated in the main academy because activating it cost a terrifying amount of resources. Long Chen had summoned spirit tier, immortal kings to spar against him, and that had required him to use immortal king spiritual crystals. These crystals contained King Kai, something that immortal kings required to cultivate. The ordinary spiritual Kai of the immortal world was not enough for immortal kings, so they had to rely on immortal king spiritual crystals to cultivate. The value of such a thing was equivalent to one billion ordinary immortal crystals. Furthermore, they were incredibly rare objects, treasures nourished by heaven and earth. There was nothing that could replace them. Long Chen had summoned eight life forms of other worlds at once, using up eight immortal king spiritual crystals. An ordinary immortal king would be pained to death by that price. However, Long Chen didn't mind. As long as it could increase his combat power, he wasn't aggrieved about the price at all. His fists danced against those eight life forms. Those life forms had strange techniques and countless divine abilities. 
they launched one killing blow after another. At this moment, the Seventh Branch Academy's disciples were watching, and they had cold sweat running down their backs just from observing this fight. In order to not waste this chance, Long Chen had summoned these disciples so that they could gain some experience against foreign experts. These life forms were much stronger than the human race's spirit tier immortal kings. Those that were recorded within this formation were all top experts at their level. Every single one of them had their own killing blows as well. Long Chen was already soaked in blood from fighting them for so long. He was surrounded by danger, and yet he continued to fight with only his fists. The disciples' hearts clenched every time they saw him narrowly avoid danger from their attacks. This was incredibly dangerous. Boss, time is almost up, shouted Kin Feng. He was counting the time for Long Chen. These summoned experts could only stay for at most an instant's stick's worth of time. After that, the energy within the immortal king's spiritual crystals would be exhausted. Um, with that reminder, Long Chen's aura suddenly erupted like a volcano. With a single punch, one of those life forms was blasted apart. Using just punches, Long Chen killed these experts. The final expert pierced Long Chen's chest with its sword just before its death. Just then, the eight immortal king's spiritual crystals embedded in the wall fell to the ground and shattered. These crystals that even king items could barely damage were gone. Suddenly, an explosive sound came from within Long Chen's body. A Kai wave then spread in every direction. Kin Feng had long since been prepared, and he activated the formation, sealing Long Chen's aura inside so that it could not harm the surrounding people. Long Chen's aura was tumultuous. It battered the barrier like millions of blades. In just one month, Boss advanced from the fourth heaven stage to the seventh heaven stage, rising from the mid stage to the late stage. This cultivation speed is incomparable. Kai Yu looked at Long Chen's aura and sighed. Right now, Long Chen was in the same realm as them. That meant that his power was even more terrifying. Every heaven stage in the four peak realm led to major changes, and Long Chen's aura could only be described as terrifying. Long Chen had spent a month fighting powerful experts here and used up hundreds of immortal king spiritual crystals. Each time, he fought different races and pushed himself to the border of life and death. This was to stimulate his potential and raise the effect of the peakless pills. It came at a shocking price, but his gains were also shocking. He advanced three heaven stages in one month. It seemed that ever since he had set foot into the cultivation world, he had never experienced such a speed. Thanks to the endless supply of resources, Kai Yu, Kin Feng, and Zhu Zixin had also reached the seventh heaven stage half a month ago. Now Long Chen had caught up. In the same vein, with so many resources, Mu Qingyan, Liu Obeng, Liu Ozu, and the others also advanced quickly. All of their cultivation speeds were shocking, but the most shocking ones were Bai Ziol and Bai Shishi. Despite no one ever seeing Bai Ziol cultivate, he had advanced to the Eighth Heaven stage just three days ago. That easy manner of his was enough to enrage people. As for Bai Shishi, she had reached the ninth heaven stage seven days ago. That was also the result of her holding back for fear of advancing too quickly and shaking her foundation. The energy within the metal lily seed that Long Chen had given her was incredibly pure. She didn't even need to refine it. Just by absorbing that energy, her cultivation base crazily grew. If it wasn't for fear of her foundation growing unsteady, she could even attempt to break through to the Divine Lord realm. She had stepped out of seclusion the past few days. With nothing else to do, she watched Long Chen train, gaining insights from his combat experience. Although her metal energy was terrifying, her combat experience couldn't compare to Long Chen's. She could learn many things from him. 
it wasn't just by Shishi. Everyone was trying to learn from Long Chen. Just watching these battles under their terrifying pressures was silently honing their wills, allowing them to maintain clear minds even in the face of death. Some of the more talented people were able to gain even more from watching him fight. They digested Long Chen's experiences and applied them to themselves. This was also one of Long Chen's goals in having them watch. Congratulations, boss. Kai Yu passed a towel and a new set of robes to Long Chen. Long Chen normally only wore ordinary robes. Only when he was out for important occasions would he wear the clothes that Meng Kai and the others had made for him. Long Chen used the towel to wipe off the blood and sweat. He then put on new robes and appeared completely refreshed. However, he shook his head and sighed. There's nothing to congratulate me for. After this advancement, I feel that this trial is already useless to me. Spirit tier immortal kings were no longer able to threaten him, so he didn't feel any danger anymore against them. Even if there were more of them, it would be a waste of time. If he spent a hundred immortal king spirit crystals, the formation could summon an earth tier immortal king. But an earth tier immortal king might kill him in one blow. It had to be known that this trial summoned the strongest and most terrifying experts of their tier. Yuo Changwu had just advanced to the earth tier, but his aura had still injured Long Chen back then. That was enough to show Long Chen the gap between them. So, considering that the formation would summon elites amongst elites, Long Chen definitely didn't want to mess around with them. Thus, for now, this training was useless for him. He had to think of something else. He then went to the academy's palace. The various elders were usually here. When Long Chen appeared, Heaven Master Yun Yang said, Dean, you told us to keep an eye on any movements throughout the various domains. Lately, there have been some unfavorable affairs going on. Chapter 3352 Trap, What Happened? asked Long Chen. Lately, some rumors have been running rampant due to certain people promoting them. The news of you being an underworld ghost seat has spread far and wide, said Heaven Master Yun Yang. Long Chen brushed it off. Doesn't you to have no other ideas? This kind of rumor can simply be ignored. Long Chen knew that his heart devil that erupted in the battle of the heavenly rainbow domain and the sinister dark energy that came from his purgatory eyes further promoted the rumor that he was an underworld ghost seed. With Jan Weizhong starting the rumor and the support of countless powers behind it, quite a few people started to agree with the rumor. The dark energy that Long Chen had displayed was the greatest proof. Explaining it was meaningless, so only time would tell Novaloon. Calm, however, in Puda's scheme does not stop there. Heaven Master Yun Yang shook his head gravely. Heaven Master Dong Ming continued, due to the rumors growing more popular, the heavenly rainbow domain's experts are refuting it for you. Some people then said that these experts have been tricked by you. Even the heavenly rainbow fairy was tricked by you according to them. However, due to the schemers dragging in the name of the heavenly rainbow fairy, the heavenly rainbow domain's experts were infuriated, and several clashes occurred. A few immortal kings of the heavenly rainbow domain have been slain. Just yesterday, they lost 17 experts on the level of sect leaders. Bang! Long Chen slammed his hand on the table, ashen with rage. Fortunately, the table was solid enough that it didn't break. Courting death, Long Chen was enraged. He had underestimated the shamelessness of the Nine Underworld Hall and the Blood Kill Hall. They were borrowing these rumors to kill the chicken to warn the monkey. The heavenly rainbow domain's experts had become their target. Using these bloody methods, they would make anyone who spoke against their rumors shut their mouths, which then allowed them to successfully turn white into black, false into true. Long Chen, this is very likely a trap for you, said Bai Shishi when she saw how enraged Long Chen was. It's not likely, it definitely is. 
They can't touch the Seventh Branch Academy, so they have to force me out. Prepare to move out. We're going to the Heavenly Rainbow Domain, said Long Chen. You're going to go even though it's a trap, exclaimed Bai Shishi. Even if it's a trap, I have to go. Killing a portion of the Heavenly Rainbow Domain's experts is just their first step. Their next step is to start a large-scale slaughter of the Heavenly Rainbow Domain's experts. If they still don't force me out, they'll just keep killing. If I still don't come out, they'll say that I watched as the Heavenly Rainbow Domain's experts died without saving them. Clearly, I must have a guilty conscience over being an underworld ghost seed. Eventually, the entire academy will be dragged into it due to harboring me, an underworld ghost seed. How can I not go? said Long Chen. This, this trap is so evil. Bai Shishi's expression changed. She hadn't considered this far. But now that Long Chen said this, she felt cold sweat on her back. Dean, this matter is too dangerous. We should report it to the main academy, said an experienced elder. Our seventh branch academy is an independent force. We need to rely on ourselves to handle most things. After I leave, don't worry about wasting resources. Activate the formation to its full power and hunker down to avoid them luring a tiger from the mountain in order to destroy the mountain. After saying that, Long Chen directly left with Bai Shishi, Bai Xiaol, Qin Feng, Kai Yu, and Zhu Zixian. They stepped into the transportation formation and space shuddered intensely. They were directly sent to the heavenly rainbow domain. However, there was no corresponding transportation formation in the heavenly rainbow domain connecting to the seventh branch academy. This transportation formation had simply sent them in the right direction. With no fixed node, although they managed to reach the heavenly rainbow domain, their exact location could not be accurately controlled. The capital was still quite far. This time, they saw no auspicious rainbow light in the heavenly rainbow domain. This entire domain seemed to have become dark, and there was also a strange murderous aura hanging within the air. A golden war chariot rumbled through the air. This was by Shishi's special chariot. Originally, this chariot was only lent to Bai Shishi, and it was under the Academy's control. This Golden War chariot was actually a king item. The Academy permitted Bai Shishi to use it partially because Bai Shishi paid a high rent and also due to some secret special treatment. This Golden War chariot silently assisted Bai Shishi's cultivation, but she was entirely unaware of it. She only liked it because it raised her core energy. Before Bai Shishi's mother departed, she had formally gifted the Golden War chariot to her daughter. It was now her personal item and could be freely used. The Golden War chariot rumbled through the air like a golden shooting star. They quickly saw the city in the distance. However, when they saw the city, killing intent exploded out of Long Chen's eyes. Even Qin Feng, Kai Yu, and the others clenched their weapons tightly. The once glorious city was now in a wretched state. Many of its tall buildings were destroyed, with desolation and ruins as far as the eye could see. Such a perfect city was practically in ruins. The new statue had also been smashed, and there was blood on the ground. Long Chen was one step too late. A great battle had just occurred here. Although the corpses had been taken away, the bloodstains had yet to dry. The Golden War Chariot descended upon the city with no formation sopping them. The formation had clearly been destroyed. Within the city, they heard countless cries of agony and curses of hatred. Just a few hours ago, countless assassins had flooded the ancient city, killing their top experts. When they managed to launch a counterattack, they weren't even able to grasp their opponent's shadow. They could only watch as their own sect leaders and sect masters were killed by black-robed assassins. They could only witness the new statue of their goddess being destroyed. 
They were powerless to do anything, so countless people roared like beasts. They couldn't even find their Emmys. They were filled with hatred. They knew that these people had to have come from the Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall. They wanted revenge. When they saw Long Chen step out of the Golden War chariot, countless experts knelt toward him. Dean Long Chen, you must get vengeance for us. Our elders, they, they, these experts were unable to even speak clearly through their sobbing. Countless people of virtue and great reputation, the elders that they loved, they were all killed and these people were powerless to stop it. This started because of me. I will definitely give the heavenly rainbow domain an explanation. Long Chen's killing intent exploded. It seemed that he had underestimated Imputa. Or perhaps it should be said that he had underestimated just how despicable the Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall could be, as well as just how big their guts were. They truly did use any means necessary to achieve their goals, having no misgivings. Shameless things, come out and face your death. Long Chen suddenly roared. Like a god roaring, his voice was the only thing filling the nine heavens. Come out and face your death. Come out and face your death. Come out and face your death. His voice echoed, resounding with killing intent. But no one responded. Long Chen suddenly moved, unleashing a punch on nothing but air. As a result, space collapsed and a Kai wave erupted like a furious dragon. In the distance, space exploded. A figure that was hacking up blood was forced out of the void. Chapter 3353 Massacre A masked expert was forced out of the void. The next instant, Long Chen's figure was already shooting toward him. Before that person could react, a hand clawed onto his head. This person was an immortal king, but only at the mortal tier. He unleashed his immortal king aura to force Long Chen back, but unfortunately for him, that little aura was nothing to Long Chen. Let alone a mortal tier, a mortal king, even a spirit tier, a mortal king could simply be ignored by the current Long Chen. That person didn't even have a chance to take out his weapon. Blood spurted out of his head as Long Chen's fingers pierced into his head. Soul Tracing Source the assassin's Yuan spirit exploded. Using his Yuan spirit as a vector, Long Chen used a secret art. Countless illusory figures then appeared in the air. These figures were originally perfectly hidden in the void. No one had been able to even notice them. But after Long Chen detonated that person's Yuan spirit, he used it to find those with similar cultivation technique fluctuations, revealing them. Up in the air and within the ruins were thousands of hidden experts. Although they had been revealed, it was just due to a secret art allowing people to see their vague figures, but not their facial features nor their cultivation bases. However, that was enough. When they saw those figures, the heavenly rainbow domain's experts went crazy and charged at those despicable assassins. The assassins themselves were also startled. They hadn't expected Long Chen to have such a technique. This was a technique that Long Chen had learned while going through the pavilions of the main academy. At that time, he had felt that this technique was made perfectly to counter the Bloodkill Hall. But he had never used it before. The Bloodkill Hall's experts would be immediately noticed by him unless they posed no killing intent to him. Otherwise, no matter how they concealed themselves, they couldn't escape the senses of the nine-star hegemon body art. Now that he finally used it, the hidden assassins were all forced out. Oh! As Long Chen waved his hand, a flame prison appeared, sealing this entire space. It rapidly shrank. As it shrank, a figure appeared within it. It was another masked expert, but his aura was different from these assassins of the Bloodkill Hall. Die! Long Chen clenched his hand, and the flame prison instantly shrank to the size of a fist around that person. He was instantly crushed and incinerated. At the same time, countless more figures appeared. 
their number was no fewer than the experts of the Bloodkill Hall that were forced out. Nine underworld hunters. A vein throbbed on Long Chen's forehead, and killing intent exploded out of him. The Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall had joined forces against him. Pilk. Seeing these people, Kin Fang roared and charged out. The closest mortal, tier immortal king of the Bloodkill Hall was directly hacked apart by him. The current Kin Fang was very powerful. He was truly capable of being classified as a first rate expert. Even fighting across two realms, he easily killed a mortal tier immortal king. Warriors of the heavenly rainbow domain, quickly leave this place. There's no need for any senseless sacrifices. The future heavenly rainbow domain needs you to rebuild it. The heavenly rainbow fairy's soul flame needs you. You still have a purpose, so you cannot throw away your lives for nothing. Long Chen shouted. The heavenly rainbow domain's experts were charging at those assassins to avenge their seniors, but they weren't a match for the assassins. They began to fall. Long Chen's voice resounded throughout the ancient city. Those experts still had red eyes, but they chose to listen to his orders. They no longer made any senseless sacrifices and retreated from the battlefield. After seeing Long Chen's fight against the experts of other domains, they knew that they would only get in his way. He wouldn't be able to unleash his full power for fear of harming them, while his enemies would have no such misgivings. Long Chen, is it? I will a spirit tear. Mortal King with the mark of the Nine Underworld Hall appeared right in front of Long Chen, but only just for a moment before he suddenly vanished. Long Chen simply swung his hand. A lotus mark appeared on his palm, and space twisted. After that, blood mist filled the air. He had slapped that immortal king to death. This person had severely underestimated Long Chen's combat experience. Normally, he would split himself into eight figures and attack from eight different directions. A normal person would definitely try to deduce which of the eight bodies was real. Every single one of those eight bodies could instantly switch with the real body, and as soon as his opponent chose the wrong one, they would die. However, against Long Chen, he had chosen to use the most simple and direct technique. Those eight figures were all fake and he launched a frontal attack while hidden in the void. Just as Long Chen thought to handle the eight fakes, the assassin would kill him. However, Long Chen had ignored those eight figures and directly slapped his true body. Hidden in the void, his power was suppressed. As a result, a spirit tier, mortal king of the Nine Underworld Hall, someone who had killed countless people in his lifetime, died without understanding how Long Chen hadn't fallen for his technique. Naturally, Long Chen wouldn't be able to fall for it even if he wanted to. That person had the blood of the Nine Star Heirs on him. It was even easier for Long Chen to sense him than the assassins of the Blood Kill Hall. Kill! Once that spirit tear, a mortal king, was slain, all the surrounding nine Underworld Hall and Bloodkill Hall experts charged at Long Chen. Divine Ring. Battle Armor. Long Chen roared. The next moment, his Divine Ring appeared with a star diagram inside it and golden scales covered his body. A violent Kai wave erupted along with chilling killing intent. Oh! Long Chen slashed his saber down. The front few spirit tier immortal kings were directly blown back, hacking up blood. Despite being spirit tier immortal kings, their power was far inferior to the ones replicated by the academy's training ground. Even over ten of them combined were unable to stop Long Chen's attack. After one swing of Long Chen's saber, another flame lotus appeared in his left hand. He then unleashed a palm that caused the void to explode. Flames devoured half the sky. Ah! Uh, the spirit tier immortal kings within that region screamed miserably and flew out, their bodies covered in flames. They were turned into roasted pigs. As for mortal tier immortal kings, 
they were directly incinerated. After that, Long Chen swept his saber out, and a mass of assassins were directly slain. Long Chen shot through the air, becoming a life-reaping devil king. Wherever he went, the assassins were killed. On the other side, Bai Shishi had a golden lotus beneath her feet. Her golden sword came out of its sheath, and anyone who blocked her was killed. Her attacks were even sharper than Long Chen's. Who? Suddenly, the world shook and a ray of divine light descended from the nine heavens, enveloping the entire city. Long Chen, is it? Interesting. You killed Chen Mo, I will face you today. A cold and arrogant voice rang out from the heavens. Favorite. Chapter 3354 Earth Tier Immortal Kings The Divine Light Descended from the Heavens. Bai Shishi and the others were shocked to find that the area enveloped by the Divine Light was separated from the rest of the world. It really is a trap. Bai Shishi's expression changed. Although she had been mentally prepared, she still had a bad feeling. Thousands of assassins of the Bloodkill Hall and the Nine Underworld Hall were almost wiped out. Everything was too simple, too easy. It was like they were just bait. To use thousands of immortal kings as bait, with even spirit tier immortal kings amongst them, wasn't this bait a bit too generous? It really is a trap. Look, the blood soul energy of the slain assassins is gone. This light was summoned using their blood soul power, said Kin Feng. How ruthless! They intentionally had us kill them just to summon this light. They are willing to pay a bloody price. Baizyal stuck out his tongue. This was way too exaggerated. Since when did the lives of immortal kings become so worthless? Following that Aishi voice, five figures slowly descended from the heavens. Earth tier immortal kings. By she, she's hard jumped. Amongst the five of them, four of them were elders with auras as vast as seas. The auras were so heavy that everyone had difficulty breathing. They were earth tier immortal kings. This was by Shishi's first time seeing an earth tier immortal king. She was unaware that her mother and father were heaven tier immortal kings because they had sealed their auras. Only Long Chen had seen some clues and knew about it. The four of them emitted such an immense pressure that faint threads appeared within heaven and earth. Their pressure caused even space to freeze. Furthermore, the four of them were standing behind a young man. This was a fair-faced man in black robes, and a demonic light shone in his eyes. He was at the peak of the four-peak realm. His aura seemed to be on the verge of breaking through at any moment to the Divine Lord realm, Navalun. Calm, although he was only in the four-peak realm, the sense of danger that this person gave off was not at all inferior to those four Earth-tier immortal kings. Most importantly, the four earth tier immortal kings were standing behind him. He was the leader, so his status was clearly extraordinary. Long Chen's saber swung, killing two immortal kings who thought that they had managed to escape death. Long Chen cut them in two, and their corpses fell to the ground, their Yuan spirits dead. With a swing of his saber, the blood slid off, leaving the saber as white as pure jade. Resting his saber on his shoulder, he looked at the five of them without the slightest shock. It was as if this was all within his expectations. I asked you a question. Are you mute? Asked the young man after he saw Long Chen's cold indifference. It seemed that this wasn't the effect that he had anticipated. Long Chen stared at the young man, feeling the resentment of hundreds of nine star heirs on him. The young man's hands were covered in the nine star heirs' blood. Nine underworld hunters lived to kill nine star heirs, viewing them as prey. Moreover, they used their prey's heads to gain status and rewards. They were slaughterers. This person had the most resentment on his hands, out of all nine underworld hunters that Long Chen had ever encountered. Long Chen only had one thought in his mind when he saw this young man. Kill him. Avenge the nine star heirs. Are you blind? 
Can you not see that I'm the dean? If you know the answer, why ask? Said Long Chen coldly. Dean? Ha ha ha, good, very good. I like that status. After I kill you, I think I can get a reward comparable to killing a few nine star heirs. The young man laughed arrogantly, seemingly not placing Long Chen in his eyes. Long Chen sneered. I heard that you hunt down nine star heirs while relying on a realm advantage. You don't even dare to fight them in the same realm. Even if you are in the same realm, you use numbers to bully them. If it was a one against one, nine star heirs would kick the crap out of you. Is that information correct? This wasn't something that Long Chen had heard. He just guessed it. There were no historical records of nine star heirs, and their stories were only passed down from mouth to mouth. However, considering how powerful a nine star heir was, the nine underworld hunters would have to pay a heavy price to kill them. In fact, many nine underworld hunters fell to their prey's final struggle. Thus, they most likely fought in groups against a nine star heir or used higher realms to suppress them. Otherwise, they couldn't possibly kill the nine star heirs. Bullshit. That's absolute nonsense. The young man was enraged, and he flatly denied it. But his expression seemed to be proof of it. Seeing Long Chen's cold gaze, that man was enraged. It felt like his lie was seen through, embarrassing him. Long Chen's words had clearly touched a sore spot. It wasn't just his expression that was ugly. The four earth tier, immortal kings also had surging killing intent in their eyes. Long Chen smiled. As expected, the rumors are true. You nine underworld hunters are cowards who only know how to use numbers to bully others. I suppose it's just like the hyenas of the plains. You're both despicable animals who use any means necessary to feed yourselves. Although the nine star heirs were slain by you, they were true heroes, while you were simply cowardly trash. The likes of you can be called an assassin? What a joke. You're practically an insult to that title. The Shadow Sect is the home of true assassins, kings of the night. But you lot are such trash that I'll ask you to stop calling yourselves assassins. Really, you're simply insulting real assassins. Every single one of Long Chen's words was like poison arrows shooting into their hearts. The five of them felt like they might explode. These were the words that they hated the most. That was because every time they hunted nine star heirs, they always mobilized over a hundred people and had experts across realms as well. Even one against a hundred, the nine star heirs sometimes had the power to kill all of them, even though some of the most outstanding talents of the Nine Underworld Hall were present. Thus, they usually had seniors who first injured the Nine Star Heirs or used secret arts to limit their power. They were truly willing to use any means necessary to kill Nine Star Heirs. Of course, to the public, they announced that they always killed the Nine Star Heirs in a one against one. But that was simply them pasting gold on their faces. Now that this guilt was mercilessly torn off by Long Chen, they were embarrassed. The young man darkly said, I used my own power to kill 437 nine-star heirs. Since you dare to question me, I'll show you the power that I used so that you can die fully convinced. His arms shook, blasting off his sleeves. After that, Dual daggers with a flickering blue light on them appeared in his hands. They were like the fangs of a viper pointed at Long Chen. Favorite. Chapter 3355 Rank 2 Heaven Fiend Ice Fangs When the two daggers appeared, an icy light filled the world, causing the temperature to plummet. It was like winter had suddenly come, freezing people's souls. These are called ice fangs, Weapons that went down in history as fearful existences. I rarely use them, because they only drink the blood of nine star heirs. Only nine star heirs are fit for me to use them. You should feel greatly honored that I'm using them on you, said that man. 
The daggers were quivering like bees flapping their wings. They left marks on space. With every quiver, the angle of the daggers changed like vipers swaying to and fro, looking for the optimal angle to attack. Just by looking at them, people's souls quivered. This was a pair of true killer divine weapons. So what? Wouldn't you still die in a one against one with a nine star air? Is it something to be proud of to kill nine star airs with shameless means? Sneered Long Chen. Shut up. I, young master Gu Yu, basically always fight nine star airs in fair one against ones, shouted that nine star hunter. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. All these provocations were just to bait out some information about nine star airs. The nine star air that Long Chen had encountered on the martial heaven continent was nothing more than a trace of some remnant will. It was impossible to judge a nine star air's true power from that. As for Long Chen himself, he had taken the nine star hegemon body art on a different path. He didn't know if it was good or bad so he needed a general assessment. Long Chen sneer, basically. So you really can't beat nine star heirs. You always have to use numbers or seniors to beat them. Am I wrong? Ku Yu clenched his teeth furiously. I can't be bothered to argue with an ant like you. Do you even realize that you are already dead? No one can save you. There's no need for me to even attack you. The only reason I came was to see just who the hall master cared so much about. You are a tortoise caught in a jar, but you still boast so shamelessly and arrogantly. Do you know how foolish that is? The barrier had been activated and four earth-tier immortal kings had descended. That was truly enough power to kill Long Chen. Even if Bai Zhantang and the others departed now, they wouldn't come in time. However, Long Chen still fearlessly tapped his saber on his shoulder, indifferently saying, Tell me what rank on the Heaven Fiend rankings you are for you to be so arrogant. On the Heaven Fiend rankings, other than the Nine Underworld Asura, I'm not afraid of anyone. So why don't you tell me what rank I am? said Gu Yu arrogantly. TCH is being second really so great, sneered Long Chen. That's why I said you're a fool. Do you know what the name of Nine Underworld Asura signifies? To use the name of the Nine Underworld is a supreme glory and privilege. That is an existence with the karmic luck of millions concentrated within her. Ants like you and I cannot compare to her. Nine star heirs are only slightly bigger rabbits before her, so you aren't qualified to talk about her, sneered Gu Yu. This was surprising to Long Chen. It seemed that Gu Yu truly felt great respect for this nine underworld Asura. For him to even call himself an ant was outside of Long Chen's expectations. In other words, Gu Yu was ranked two on the Heaven Fiend rankings, while that mysterious nine underworld Asura was ranked one and also far above him in power. The only information Long Chen had about these so-called Heaven Fiend rankings came from the battle in the Heavenly Rainbow Domain. One of the top experts had been cowed by the name of this ranking and retreated. So, those on this ranking clearly weren't ordinary. From Gu Yu's mouth, it seemed that there was a huge difference between rank 1 and rank 2. They were incomparable. Long Chen's heart shook slightly. It seemed that this nine underworld Asura was truly terrifying. Gu Yu sneered, I am already at the great circle of four peak. If I were to advance to the Divine Lord realm, I wouldn't even bother coming here to kill you. Now you should understand just how worthless you are in my eyes, right? So that's the case. Then your choice is very wise. Long Chen nodded. HMPH, it seems that you, you came to challenge me so that if you won, you could use that burst of energy to perfectly rise to the Divine Lord realm. The reason I praise you, though, is because now that you've come, there's no need for you to leave alive. A dead person doesn't need to worry about advancing. Ah! Oh, Gu Yu laughed furiously. Full. 
You still haven't seen why I'm wasting time talking to you. You're the fool. Do you think that I can't see the barrier changing? retorted Long Chen. Only then did Bai Shishi and the others notice strange marks appearing on the barrier. Furthermore, the people outside the barrier had already vanished, and mist covered the surroundings, making it impossible for them to see anything. Within the barrier, nothing had changed. But as Bai Ziol's three flower pupils revolved, his expression changed. We are separated from the outside world by some energy. Those people are still there, but they no longer seem real. It's like we're in a different space-time. When it came to spatial arts, no one knew more than by Zyol here. But clearly, this barrier had exceeded the scope of his current understanding. Where did they go? Kin Feng suddenly noted that the dozens of immortal kings still remaining when Gu Yu and the others descended were gone. They are already dead. Bai Shishi looked toward a group of corpses in the distance. She felt a chill. Those people hid in a corner when the barrier came down. But they had become withered corpses for some reason. Their blood soul energy was sucked away. Bai Shishi and the others looked at those corpses and then at the spatial barrier around them. This barrier was made with their blood and souls. An unbelievable thought appeared in their minds. If that was true, it really was ruthless. A barrier created by sacrificing thousands of immortal kings. Right now, the only comforting thing was that Long Chen was still icily calm as if he had been prepared from the start for such a thing. That was all that prevented them from panicking. Fool, do you know what price you will have to pay for your foolishness? If you hadn't wasted time talking, you would only have been slain. Now that the barrier is complete, you won't be able to die even if you beg, laughed Gu Yu, sounding very pleased. A senior told me that any scheme is meaningless in front of absolute power. Today, I will use the bone saber in my hand to demonstrate the truth of his words. As Long Chen raised his saber, a giant saber image tore into the heavens. All the murderous air of heaven and earth was sucked inside the saber without leaving a drop. After that, the bone saber slashed down, shaking the river of stars and causing the world to change color. Split the heavens! Chapter 3356 Strange Divine Weapons Long Chen directly used his strongest saber attack. There was no need for any probing blows. The will of split the heavens was completely locked onto his target. It was simple and direct. Then let me experience your strongest attack. Gu Yu grew serious and suddenly moved. The dagger in his right hand appeared in front of him, while the dagger in his left hand appeared behind him. One was held normally, and the other was held in reverse. A circle then appeared in front of him. His blood kai fully ignited. In front of Long Chen's attack, he had to go all out as well. I soul nine underworld slash. The two daggers quivered and their images were projected, one yin and one yang, forming a giant tady diagram. Boom. The next moment, the heavens collapsed and the earth was torn asunder. The ancient city was instantly turned into smithereens. Countless years of history were erased in an instant. Long Chen and Gu, you both shook. They actually ended up even in this exchange. With a turn of his dagger, Gu Yu struck like lightning. His dagger was unbelievably fast, streaking toward Long Chen's neck like lightning. Boom. However, his dagger didn't strike its target because Long Chen kicked Gu Yu in the abdomen, sending him flying. Despite that, even though the dagger didn't even touch Long Chen, it had a strange law attached to it, and it sliced through the void, leaving a long bloody cut on Long Chen's neck. Even without touching his skin, he was injured and the golden dragon scales couldn't stop it. Bu Yu's attack was truly astonishing. Furthermore, frost appeared on top of the wound. A bone-chilling cold invaded Long Chen's body, almost freezing his blood. While Long Chen was injured, Gu Yu also suffered from the kick. 
The reason he was willing to exchange injury for injury was because he knew that once his ice fangs struck, Long Chen would be frozen. Without at least a few seconds, Long Chen couldn't recover. Then he would have a chance to kill him. But Long Chen's kick actually shook his insides badly. It felt like they almost exploded. Despite having shifted his heart, protecting Mirror from his heart, to the abdomen at that last second, Bu Yu was still unable to completely resist that overwhelming power. Even his heart, protecting Mirror, shattered. It was a king item that could absorb any power for its master so that they wouldn't be injured in the slightest. Compared to soft skin armor, this mirror armor was able to fully absorb that power. Soft armor could only block a portion of any attack. Ordinary soft armor could block 70% of an attack's power at most. Furthermore, if their limit was broken, it was all too easy for the materials to deform, resulting in the runes being displaced and causing the armor to be damaged easily. However, mirror armor was different. It could fully absorb the full power of any attack. The problem was that once the amount of power it absorbed surpassed its limit, it would shatter. Long Chen's kick had directly shattered his mirror armor and shaken his insides. He was lucky that his mirror armor was made of good enough materials, or that one kick might have killed him. That was because an assassin's physical body wasn't very powerful. Originally, Bu Yu's goal was to use the mirror armor to block Long Chen's attack and then kill Long Chen while his body was frozen. However, he was the one hacking up blood from Long Chen's attack instead. In this exchange of blows, he was the one who suffered the most. The blood coming out of Long Chen's neck froze, leading to a blockage in his aura. This made him unable to unleash his full power. With a cold snort, a flame lotus appeared on Long Chen's left hand, and he unleashed his palm. Flames exploded, but this attack missed. Ku Yu had vanished. At the same time, the ice kai on Long Chen's neck was erased. The wound healed, and his kai once more began flowing smoothly throughout his body. Boot. Long Chen's saber swung behind him, causing the void to explode. Gu Yu's figure reappeared, but after that brief delay, he had also recovered from his wound. The saber and dagger clashed, unleashing divine light. After that, the Taiji diagram around Gu Yu shone brightly. The power of yin and yang. As they cycle, my power is dispersed into the air. This pair of weapons is really great. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. In these two clashes, Long Chen had finally seen through the clues of these daggers. This pair of divine items was one yin and one yang. As yin and yang circulated, they formed a special force field that absorbed Long Chen's power and released it. The reason Gu Yu was able to block Split the Heavens wasn't due to his own power, but due to the marvelous ability of this pair of daggers. They could absorb and release energy. The dagger that Gu Yu was pointing behind him suddenly pierced forward, and a wild power erupted. On the other hand, Long Chen felt a suffocating feeling. Boom! The runes on his bone saber quivered. A fiery light exploded between it and the dagger, devouring this entire space. Flames spurted into the heavens, and the world was ignited. This other dagger of Gu Yu's actually contained flame energy. One ice, one flame, one yin, one yang. When they were combined, they produced endless magical properties. Long Chen was forced back over ten steps before stabilizing his body. How does it feel to be struck by your own power? sneered Gu Yu. Just now, he had absorbed Long Chen's power, releasing a portion of it into the air, and using another portion of it to attack. Switching out the ice dagger for the flame dagger, he then struck Long Chen with both their powers. It's only a little trick. I would guess that the only reason you managed to climb to rank two of the Heaven Fiend rankings is not due to your actual power, but those daggers. How pitiful, 
said Long Chen as he shook his numb hand. This was Long Chen's first time encountering someone using his own power to strike him. However, considering how forceful Long Chen's power was, it was mostly of the Yang attribute, while Gu Yu's energy deviated toward the inside, resulting in him only being able to reflect a small portion of Long Chen's power. Despite that, Long Chen definitely had lost out in that exchange. Those daggers were truly bizarre. You're the pitiful one. My weapons are naturally a part of my power. What is there to question about my power? demanded Gu Yu furiously. This surprising amount of anger was due to Long Chen touching his sore spot once more. Long Chen was clearly not the only one who had said something like this to him. When it came to just pure power, Gu Yu truly wasn't much stronger than the rank 7 Tian Mo. However, Long Chen felt that considering that their ranking was so different, there shouldn't be such a little difference. Rank 2 should be much stronger. He hadn't expected that casually saying this would cause the truth to come out. This fellow had really relied on his weapons to reach rank 2, and not his actual power. HMPH, die, you trash talking trash. Gu Yu roared, his blood kai igniting. As his daggers glowed, both ice and flame energy filled the world. After that, two horned monsters appeared behind him. Chapter 3357 Demon Moon reveals her power. Those two horned monsters were nameless devils. They were the item spirits of the daggers, and their power caused the void to collapse around them. Isn't it said that only experts on the level of a heaven-tier immortal king can activate the item spirit of a king item? exclaimed Bai Zio. Although they all had king items, they were only able to unleash a very small portion of their power. Unless they could have the item spirit accept them like Bai Shishi, there was no way for them to unleash their true power. However, even Bai Shishi had to be very careful while using her golden sword. One careless mistake would suck up all her spiritual yuan and injure her with a backlash. King items were for world kings, and one had to be at least a heaven-tier immortal king to fully unleash their power. For the likes of Bai Ziol and the others, using king items was mostly just to intimidate people or to display their status. For someone in the four-peak realm to use a king item was like a child waving around a hammer. It was even possible for them to accidentally smash themselves to death. The majority of king items couldn't even bother to pay attention to such children, so most of their king items were in slumber. They didn't care at all about their master's life or death. However, Gu Yu had summoned the item spirits of his daggers. Their power raged, sealing this entire world. Gu Yu had his sore spot touched by Long Chen. The anger drove him to unleash this trump card. Now it's up to Long Chen to block it, said Bai Shishi. She was vigilantly holding her golden sword. If Long Chen couldn't receive it, then she would interfere. However, there would be no way for her to hold back against Gu Yu. All her power would be sucked dry in a single attack, and she might even fall into slumber. Only a full power attack could stop those figures. Did I say something wrong? Without these two divine weapons, you might not even be a match for Tian Mo. But are you angry out of embarrassment? asked Long Chen disdainfully. Dai, Gu Yu roared furiously, his face going from red to white. As if afraid he couldn't kill Long Chen, all his power poured into his divine weapons. After this attack, he probably wouldn't even be able to stand. Do you have that ability? sneered Long Chen. He put away his bone saber. At this point in time, he didn't even have time to unleash split the heavens. After forming hand seals, the space in front of him quivered and a golden pill furnace appeared. It was a king item formerly known as the Danate Furnace. Ling Er, show him who is the real king, shouted Long Chen. The pill furnace rumbled, and one rune after another lit up. As they did, the pill furnace's divine pressure rapidly rose, 
like a volcano that had stored up energy for millions and millions of years erupting. Not good. The four elders watching the fight finally changed their expressions. They were well aware that the reason why Guyu could summon the item spirits of the daggers was because of a bloodline connection. If it wasn't for that, at most, he would only be able to unleash around 20% of his king item's power. As for Long Chen, the demon moon furnace had 50% of its runes light up. Their power made even them feel terror. Oh, they wanted to interfere after seeing this, but they were too late. Long Chen had perfectly timed it, not giving them any chance to save him. The dim and moon furnace then smashed into the two daggers. During this clash of king items, the void exploded and countless giant cracks spread throughout the void. Time was like a mirror that had been shattered. Terrifying ripples blew Long Chen back, making him grunt. Although he had been prepared for this shockwave, he felt like his bones would shatter. However, Gu Yu had it even worse than him. His physical body was directly blasted apart, and he fled with only his Yuan spirit. Furthermore, his Yuan spirit was covered in cracks like crystals about to shatter. Save me! Gu Yu cried out, fleeing for his life when he saw that Long Chen was fine. Weren't you very arrogant? Long Chen sneered and extended his hand, grabbing Gu Yu's Yuan spirit. Just then, the might of four Earth-tier immortal kings erupted and space instantly froze. The might of an Earth-tier immortal king was absolute. All others became ants. However, this frozen space was then shattered by a golden sword slashing through the air. It completely ignored the absolute might of the Earth-tier immortal kings, and slashed toward the four of them. Bai Shishi attacked at this critical moment. The four of them hadn't even cared about Bai Shishi and the others, but Bai Shishi's attack caused them to shriek. All four of their hands were severed by Bai Shishi's sword. Slut, you're courting death. The four of them were shocked and enraged. The power of this attack had far surpassed their expectations. After that, space twisted and their hands exploded. Bai Siol had activated his three flower pupils to crush the hands. After leaving the main body, the hands no longer had the protection of an earth tier, a mortal king's might. So, those four hands were nothing more than four pig trotters at this time. If the four of them could simply grab their hands, they could immediately reattach them with no loss. But regenerating new hands required their core energy. This was why Bai Xiaol did this. Save me. Gu Yu's Yuan spirit was in Long Chen's hand, and he screamed wretchedly. None of his former arrogance remained. As for his two divine weapons, they had long since left him and vanished without a trace. The elders didn't even bother healing. Gu Yu was ranked two on the Heaven Fiend rankings one of the pillars of the Nine Underworld Hall. Even the palace master cared about him. So they shouted at Long Chen, Release Gu Yu. Otherwise, before the elder could finish speaking, Long Chen had crushed his Yu in spirit. Violet lightning erupted from Long Chen's hand. He then scanned Gu Yu's spiritual fragments, flipping through his memories. Courting death, the four of them were enraged. Long Chen had actually slain Gu Yu right in front of them. Originally, they hadn't been planning on bringing Gu Yu, but after learning of this plan, Gu Yu chose to come and kill Long Chen before advancing to the Divine Lord realm to add another illustrious achievement under his belt. Due to the hostility between the Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall, the Hall Master of the Nine Underworld Hall had ordered that Long Chen must be slain by one of his people. They couldn't allow the Bloodkill Hall to kill Long Chen. Moreover, Tian Mo had been killed, which was a slap in their face. Once Gu Yu learned of this, he naturally didn't want to let this opportunity go. As the four of them didn't want to offend this expert with limitless potential, they could only agree. Now, Gu Yu hadn't managed to win anything and even lost his life. 
such a good thing had been ruined. They didn't know how they could explain themselves to the hall master. So they charged at Long Chen. They no longer even dared to kill Long Chen now. A dead Long Chen definitely wouldn't be enough to placate the hall master's fury. If they wanted to keep their lives, they had to capture Long Chen alive. Just then, the golden sword slashed through the air once more. The four of them hastily retreated. They were already shaken by that golden sword and didn't dare to face it directly. After forcing the four of them back once more, Bashishi's face turned as pale as paper. She was already out of power. Capture her too, shouted one of the elders. He immediately thought of gifting the sword to the hall master to relieve some of their sins. Seeing that she had sharply overdrafted her power, the four of them reached toward her. But then, a divine light lit up, and the four of them were shocked to find that they couldn't move. A crystalline stone had appeared in Long Chen's hand. He smiled disdainfully. Did you really take me for a fool? Did you think I would send myself to my death here without some trump card? Chapter 3358 in Puta's Arrangement Long Chen was holding the sect maintaining Divine Stone, a miniature version of the Foundation Stone, and it contained endless power. The stone came from the Foundation Stone. It had a divine diagram on top of it, which appeared to be the entire Seventh Branch Academy. This divine stone's energy was so strong that let alone an earth-tier immortal king, even a heaven-tier immortal king would be wiped out by it. This was Long Chen's true trump card. However, activating it required some time, and it just so happened that by Shishi forcing the four of them back gave him the time to activate it. Even by Shishi didn't know what that stone was. It was the special divine item of the Dean and related to the karmic luck of the Academy, so it was naturally a secret of the highest level. If this stone was damaged or lost, it would cause the foundation stone to grow unstable. It could even cause it to crack. The consequences were extremely grave. The foundation stone could not be moved or damaged. Otherwise, Lord Brahma's subordinates would have long since smashed it. However, if the sect maintaining divine stone was damaged, then there would be a danger to the academy. It could be considered to possess half the power of the seventh branch academy's core. Now that Long Chen had activated it, the four earth-tier immortal kings were instantly frozen. Die! Long Chen snorted. As the stone in his hand glowed, space rumbled. The next moment, Cracks covered the bodies of those earth-tier immortal kings. No, the four of them struggled with all their might but were directly crushed by a supreme power. They appeared so weak in front of this stone. After the four earth-tier immortal kings were slain, Bai Shishi and the others sighed with relief. So Long Chen actually had such a terrifying trump card. However, all of a sudden, the blood mist of the slain earth tier immortal kings twisted and roiled as if it was alive. What? Kin Feng and the others were shocked. Just what was going on? Long Chen was also surprised. He started to have a bad feeling. The four clumps of blood mist suddenly exploded. The divine light coming from the heavens then transformed into a huge passageway. Following that, the world became dark, and Death Kai filled this world. At the end of the passageway was a grave. It was unknown where this passageway led to, but it felt like there was no exit from it. This surged out as if the gates of hell were opening. Long Chen, we meet again. When a voice rang out from the mist, Long Chen's heart leaped. And Puda, as expected, a black-robed fatty manifested within the mist. A pair of triangular eyes with fat squeezing them from all sides appeared, glinting with cold light. He was smiling like a viper sticking its tongue out. He was the master of the Blood Hill Hall in Puda. It goes without saying that you're very smart. By walking a completely unnatural path, you actually managed to reclaim the Seventh Branch Academy. 
I admit that I lost that time. But it's fine. In games, it's very normal to lose some and win some. And it seems that I won this one. In Puda smiled at Long Chen from the passageway. His voice was pleasant. If it wasn't for his face, someone would assume that it was the voice of a kindly elder. Long Chen nodded. Not bad, as expected of a wily old fox. I was careless. I thought that this plan was made by the Nine Underworld Hall, but it was all a facade made by you. After killing Tian Mo, although Long Chen didn't have time to do a soul search, he managed to tell through the fragments of Tian Mo's soul that the Nine Underworld Hall had a hostile relationship with the Bloodkill Hall. According to Long Chen's calculations, Incuda had given up temporarily and left the task to slay him to the Nine Underworld Hall. But unexpectedly, this was all arranged by Impuda. Everything was under his control. Even the Nine Underworld Hall's people were used by him. How else could I make you fall for it? The four of them wore the Underworld Soul Passage Spirit tablets, which can connect to the tomb of a world king at the end of this passageway. You and I are still not in the same heaven. I've never seen you with my true body which is rude of me. But fortunately, we are connected by destiny, and I will quickly see you with my true body. Are you happy? Imputa smiled. This smile caused his face to scrunch up, making his face look like a pile of dumb. However, Bai Shishi and the others didn't have any time to be disgusted. They were now in Imputa's trap, and Imputa had seen Long Chen's sect maintaining divine stone. Despite that, he still appeared to have everything under control. Clearly, even this trump card was not enough. Now it was troublesome. Incuta was truly worthy of being an old monster that had lived for countless years. They really were too immature compared to him. Truly amazing. This move of yours is well done. If I didn't appear, you would continue to kill everyone who opposed your rumors and then blame me for their deaths. Whether or not I was wrongly accused, the people trying to protect me would all die because of me while I didn't stand up for them. Even false can be made true like that. If those four immortal kings didn't die, I would die. If they did die, this spatial channel would activate. Simply perfect, said Long Chen. Although he was mortal enemies with Incuda, he had to admit that old monsters truly were old monsters. He really had fallen for it. You're not bad, either. The number of times I've lost in my life can be counted on the fingers of one hand, but you actually occupied one of those losses. That's enough for you to be proud of, said Incuda indifferently. All right, the tomb's death spiritual energy has been prepared. Long Chen, are you ready? I'm going to activate the formation now. Although Incuda asked, he immediately activated it before waiting for a reply. After that, Death Kai poured out of the spatial channel, and an intense attractive force drew Long Chen and the others closer and closer to it. None of them was able to stop themselves from involuntarily being drawn in. Long Chen, think of something, shouted by Shishi. She was already powerless. Long Chen shook his head. There's nothing to think about. This wily old fox has prepared everything. If I activate the sect maintaining divine stone, then I'd only be falling for his trap. It would be infected by this death spiritual Kai, corroding the karmic luck of the Seventh Branch Academy. If my guess is right, the Seventh Branch Academy is already surrounded by experts. The sect maintaining Divine Stone is connected to the Foundation Stone. So, if the Foundation Stone is shaken, the Grand Formation's power will be weakened, and they'll attack. Then the Academy's people will be slain, and even the Foundation Stone that they couldn't break before will be destroyed. After that, the Seventh Branch Academy will be lost for good. It might even implicate the main academy's karmic luck. It's that bad. Then what can we do? Bai Shishi and the others were stunned. Imputa's scheme was truly terrifying. 
Long Chen smiled. The sect maintaining divine stone suddenly lit up, its light wrapping around Bai Shishi and the others. Long Chen, what are you doing? Bai Shishi cried out. A bad feeling rose in her heart. Chapter 3359 Mo Nian appears, four chains, suddenly shot out of the darkness, binding Long Chen's hands and feet. On the other hand, Bai Shishi and the others were wrapped by the light of the sect maintaining divine stone. The stone also left Long Chen's hand and fell into Kin Feng's hold. Buzz. Kin Feng was shocked. His expression changed. I order you to protect the sect maintaining divine stone, shouted Long Chen. Just at that moment, the four chains pulled Long Chen into the spatial channel. Long Chen's divine ring quivered, causing the channel to rumble and countless cracks to appear. Long Chen fought against the chains with all his power, and the runes on the chains began to fall. Use the divine stone's power to free Long Chen. Long Chen is close to getting away with his own power. He's just missing a bit, shouted Bai Shishi. But Kin Feng simply held the stone and shook his head. Clenching his teeth, he said, It's a trap. What trap? Save Long Chen. Bai Shishi cried out. They were enveloped by the stone's light, separating them from the channel's power. However, she cried out in panic and anger. If they waited any longer, Long Chen would be dragged out of their grasp. Kin Feng shouted, Boss entrusted the divine stone to me, not you, precisely because he didn't want you to fall for impudus trap. Boss definitely realized that this channel's main target is only him. That's why he gave us the divine stone. That way, the Seventh Branch Academy can be protected. But Long Chen... Bai Shishi saw Long Chen struggling with all his might as his limbs were bound by the chains that sank into his flesh. Seeing him bleed, Bai Shishi felt like her own heart was bleeding. Kin Feng could tell what Long Chen wanted him to do. He knew that he had to maintain his calm at this time. In Puda was letting them see Long Chen struggle as his goal wasn't just Long Chen. He wanted to destroy the Seventh Branch Academy as well. As long as they still had the Divine Stone, the Academy was safe, but Imputo was unwilling to let that go. Thus, he made them have hope, wishing that they would use the Divine Stone to save Long Chen. Once they did, they would fall for his trap. Although Bai Shishi normally appeared aloof and indifferent, she simply kept her feelings inside. In a moment of desperation, she wasn't able to maintain that calmness, which was why Long Chen had given the Divine Stone to Kin Feng. Right now, the one suffering the most was Kin Feng. He was unable to do anything and could only watch as Long Chen was pulled further and further away. Little fellow, you're pretty ruthless. All right, since I can't destroy the Seventh Branch Academy, I'll settle for only you. And Puda's expression was gloomy. His plan had been seen through by Long Chen, so he was unable to kill two birds with one stone. Considering that this passage pierced through multiple heavens, Imputa was only able to fully lock onto one person. As his goal had been seen through, he knew that using this opportunity to eliminate the Seventh Branch Academy along with Long Chen was no longer possible, so he didn't want to drag this out any longer for fear of something unexpected happening. Hence, the channel rumbled and black kai swirled out of the four chains. After that, their power shot up and Long Chen was instantly dragged into the depths of the channel. Long Chen, Buzz, Bai Shishi, Kin Feng, and the others couldn't do anything. Could they really only watch as Long Chen died? Boom! Suddenly, an explosion came from within the channel. Long Chen, who was originally unable to break free and was thinking of how to use the primal case beads power to handle Imputa, suddenly broke free of one of the chains. Long Chen seemed to be caught between two spacetimes. In front of him was Imputa, and behind him were Bai Shishi and the others. He was incredibly far from both sides. Bai Shishi and the others cheered. 
They thought that Long Chen had found a way to break the chains. But they didn't know that Long Chen hadn't done anything at all. Long Chen looked at Impuda and saw that the latter's face was covered in astonishment. It seemed that he didn't know what was happening either. Boom! With another explosion, the chain binding Long Chen's right hand shattered and the channel quivered. Long Chen then looked at Impuda and found that the latter was no longer at the end of the path. Instead, the path continued beyond him. At the end of it, Long Chen saw a wretched figure and almost cried out. It was a figure wearing a helmet that was as black as the bottom of a pot and holding a three-foot-long shovel in his hand. He seemed to be digging something and was looking deeper into the channel. Mo Nian. Long Chen couldn't believe his eyes. It was actually Mo Nian, and Mo Nian now turned to see him. Mo Nian was shocked as well and rubbed his eyes. In disbelief, he asked, Are you real or fake? I open a coffin and see you. Have I been bewitched? Hey, are you really Long Chen? When did you end up being one-eyed? Long Chen had yet to recover from using the purgatory eyes last time, so he was still wearing an eye patch. With how long the channel was, and being unable to sense any auras from this distance, Mo Nian didn't quite dare to believe it. No way. It really is Mo Nian. Kin Feng and Kai Yu cried out in shock. The spatial channel had now been split into four sections. The starting point was Kin Feng and the others, and then there was Long Chen's section. Originally, Impuda was at the end, but now another section had appeared behind him. That was where Mo Nian was. This channel was a straight path. Seeing Kin Feng and Kai Yu also shout out his name, Mao Nian was delighted. He instantly concluded that he hadn't been bewitched. Before he could speak, Impuda furiously shouted, Who are you? You dare to ruin my affairs? Mo Nian cursed, You damn fatty, roll away. What qualifications do you have to interrupt when I'm talking? Impuda cursed, you're the damn fatty. Are you blind? This is just some baby fat. I'm not fat. Understand? If you have the guts, report your sect and name. Let's see if I feel like digging up your ancestral graves, retorted Mo Nian immediately. He very much detested it when others called him fatty. You, you are that bastard immoral deist's new apprentice, exclaimed in Puda. So you know. If you don't want your ancestors to see the sun, shut your mouth. After that, Mo Nian directly ignored Impuda and continued shouting at Long Chen. Long Chen, what's going on? You don't seem to be having a good time. You're being dragged into someone else's rat hole. Do you need your big brother to stand up for you? Hey, damn, we ascended at the same time. How did you find more beautiful girls so quickly? Hey, if you can, you should introduce a few to me as well. I spend all day digging up tombs, I mean, doing archaeology. Yes, archaeology. After working through the earth all day, I don't even have a partner. I'm very lonely. It seemed as if Mo Nian hadn't spoken to anyone in a long time, and a flood of words came out. After seeing Bai Shishi, he immediately cried out about the injustice of the heavens. At such a time, he was actually chattering about this nonsense. Long Chen had the urge to beat him. Did he not have eyes? He shouted, hurry up and break the chains. Chains? What chains? There aren't any chains here, said Mo Nian. I was opening up coffins. When I opened the second one, I saw you. Hurry and open the other two coffins, shouted Long Chen hastily. Mo Nian was startled. Long Chen actually knew that there were two more coffins here. Without another word, he pried open the third coffin with his shovel. But, as expected, when the third coffin was opened, another one of the chains binding Long Chen was broken. Only the last one was remaining. Courting death, Impuda was enraged. With Mo Nian's help, 
the final chain also shattered. Long Chen escaped from his bindings. However, just as he was trying to return to his starting point, the spatial channel crumbled. After that, Long Chen was devoured by fragments of space time. Long Chen, by Shi Shi, Mo Nian, and the others cried out. But the channel vanished, and Long Chen vanished with it. Chapter 3360 All fatties are on the same side, no way. Within an underground tomb with countless ancient murals carved in the surroundings, Mo Nian was standing atop a giant coffin. But at this moment, the spatial channel at the bottom of the coffin was gone. Furthermore, this tomb's solid stone walls began to sag, and the stones started to fall apart like sand. It was like all its energy had been used up, and it was about to collapse. Mo Nian ignored the crumbling tomb and muttered to himself. A spatial channel across heavens was made using this tomb's death spiritual kai. No wonder it was so easy to get in. Hum, Long Chen was stuck in the middle of the channel when it crumbled, but there is no way that this fellow would die. However, within the cycle of the six Daos and nine heavens, who knows where he's going to end up? Isn't this fellow's luck a bit too bad? Mo Nian was speechless. Just as he saw this fellow again, he vanished. Also, Mo Nian couldn't find him even if he wanted to. Suddenly, space shuddered and a figure appeared within the tomb. It was a murderous-looking impuda. This scheme that he had plotted carefully for so long was ruined. The master of this tomb was someone he had enmity with, so he used this tomb to create this seamless trap, only for Monayan, to ruin things at the final moment. So, the rate he felt right now was indescribable. Only now did Mo Nian realize that the person he had cursed as a damn fatty was actually a world king. He felt the chill. So it was this fellow who had wanted to kill Long Chen. I don't know that fellow named Long Chen. Hey, we're both fatties. I'm a fatty too. All fatties beneath the heavens are on the same side, so there's no need for us to kill each other right why would a fatty make things hard for a fellow fatty? Am I right? Mo Nian suddenly smiled warmly. That smile was as wretched as it could be. The immoral deist ruined one of my major matters back in the day, and he almost got me killed. Today, you also ruined an important plan of mine. You let Long Chen escape so you can just die. Imputa furiously smashed a palm at Mo Nian and with an explosive sound, Mo Nian was blasted into powder. However, when that powder appeared, Imputa was even more enraged. Death substitution art. That immoral ghost taught you his techniques, huh? But you can't escape. Boom. The earth exploded and a giant wave of earth spread. Imputa's figure pierced out of the land. However, just as he shot out of the earth, a shovel smacked him in the face viciously. As a result, Imputa's fat face was completely deformed, and he was sent flying. Mo Nian had long since dug his way here and was waiting. His death, substitution, Art teleported the main body a short distance away. Imputa knew about this move and knew that Mo Nian couldn't have run far. However, Mo Nian also knew that Imputa would chase him. As a result of all these circumstances, he managed to smack Imputa with his shovel. Originally, with Imputa's cultivation base, a sneak attack like this shouldn't have worked against him. What kind of joke was that? He was an assassin with a shockingly sharp spiritual perception. However, he was unfortunate. This technique was something that Mo Nian had secretly learned from Long Chen, and it had the same principle as Long Chen's face slapping art. A shovel naturally wasn't a killing tool. So, when Mo Nian didn't use any killing intent, it was just like Long Chen's slap. It was the most successful move in Mo Nian's arsenal since he had entered the immortal world. The shovel had smacked in Pewda's face solidly. 
but it didn't cause any damage other than a stinging pain on his face. Noveloon come upon seeing Mo Nyan holding the shovel in one hand and a photographic jade in the other hand, in Cutis head buzzed. The calm coolness of an assassin instantly vanished like smoke, and he charged at Mo Nyan in a wild fury. Ha ha ha, I, Mo Nyan, have finally made myself famous. A grand world king was smacked by my shovel. If this photographic jade spreads, the name of Mo Nyan will definitely resound throughout the nine heavens and ten lands. Mo Nyan laughed. He then turned and ran. After that, a pair of worn-down boots on his feet glowed, and with a single step, he seemed to teleport, appearing thousands of miles away. Stop right there! And Pewter roared and shot after him. He vanished, reappearing right behind Mo Nyan. But before he could attack, Mo Nyan was already far in the distance. Even a world king like Imputa, who was in control of a law for shortening space and had unimaginable speed, was not able to catch up to Mo Nyan and his shoddy boots. Why should I stop? Are you going to treat me to a meal? Ah, speaking of which, you know what? You look a little familiar. Wait, what the fuck? You couldn't be that Imputa from some blood hall, right? Mo Nyan turned to look back at Imputa as he ran. He suddenly recognized him. Mo Nyan had spent all his time underground working on his archaeology, so he didn't know that much about what was happening on the surface. He wanted to make a name for himself in the immortal world, and if he acted according to the immoral deist instructions, his name would quickly resound throughout the nine heavens and ten lands. The facts proved that the immoral deist was indeed immoral. But he never lied. After inheriting the mantle of the immoral deist, Mo Nyan had become a scourge on the immortal world. Countless people cried out for his death, so he already had quite some fame. Mo Nyan always worked hard. In the mortal world, it could be said that he had completely lost to Long Chen. But in the immortal world, he swore to definitely be more famous than Long Chen. So, he was specifically picking out the ancient tombs of supreme experts from the ancient era. He was constantly improving himself and had reached the third heaven stage of the Divine Lord realm. He was definitely working hard. Regretfully, through the spatial channel, he was unable to tell the cultivation bases of other people. If he knew that Long Chen was only at the seventh heaven stage of Four Peak, he would definitely be overjoyed. Mo Nyan looked at Imputa, seeing the latter so infuriated that already gave him his answer. Ah, ha ha, I actually smacked the great Imputa with my shovel. My name is definitely going to shake the heavens now. Oh, oh, oh. Mo Nyan was delighted. He almost started dancing. Little bastard, stand still, roared Imputa. But Mo Nyan's boots were strange. They seemed to contain a spatial law. Even he, a grand world king, was unable to catch up to Mo Nyan. You damn fatty, call me Daddy Mo, understand? Do you believe me when I say I'll smack you with my shovel again? Mo Nyan had absolute confidence in his boots, and he didn't seem the slightest bit afraid of Imputa. He had profited immensely today. As long as he spread the photographic jade of him smacking Imputa with his shovel, it would definitely cause huge waves. That was Mo Nyan's greatest desire. You son of a bitch, even if you have those boots, how long can you last? Once your divine source is exhausted, I'll tear out your bones and muscles, and then refine your soul for eternity, roared in Puda. TCH, how long can I last? Until a damn fatty like you spits out blood. Ever since entering the immortal world, I don't know about anything else, but I have never met someone above me when it comes to fleeing other than my master. Come, your daddy Mo will see just how long you can keep up with me, sneered Mo Nyan disdainfully. Just like that, two figures shot through the air like two shooting stars. The astral winds erupting from their figures shattered mountains and split rivers. Countless devil beasts fled in shock, 
with some being sent flying without even realizing what was happening.